Welcome Hello. to Starfinder, The Fragments of Eternity, Session 26, uh, 1st of July 2019. I'm Ryan, the GM. Let's get ready to rumble. Here are my players. I am a constantly crippled Nico, play Zora, the best captain. Greetings, I am Alex, the voice of professionalism, and I play Nix5, the android mechanic. Oh! <laughs> 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 uh, I'm not gonna do it again. Please I'm don't. Do it again. I'm not gonna do it again. Um, Audio controls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Colin. I will be playing Lyco Quint this evening. Um, fuck all you who is get a grip. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. Oh my god, he did it. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty fucking six uh. sessions of this, <laughs> and we only recorded some of them. I don't even remember when we started recording them. Maybe ten. Yeah. You chose this. I did. Welcome. Hi there. I'm Hi. 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 Fucking hell. <laughs> so I think we all hit nitrous, and he hit helium. Yeah. Oh man, I'm actually crying. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Callum. I'll be playing Zig, the space rat from space, mystical suns, and brightness. Woo! <laughs> um, yes. It's hard to see it when you're trying to laugh. I'll, tr I'll try and not laugh. Mm. I'll play. Or just when you're trying, right? Just when you're yeah. trying. Um, thank you, everybody who's listened so far who didn't just stop listening at this <laughs> point because that of that. That wasn't even funny. We're only two minutes, ten seconds in, Christ. And then, uh Sorry, just, it's Christ's a really update. And then, uh, yeah, if we could review what happened last time, everybody. Um, well, fuck. <laughs> and that, was a, that was a good party, <laughs> actually. Yeah, well, it was a good party. Yeah, it was a very Zora heavy one, yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, heavy on Zora, more like. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Zora Atlas Dora. <laughs> Uh, um. Zora shrugged. Yeah, Zora shrugged. Should have been the fucking session title. Oh, that's actually really good. I'm sorry yeah. I didn't call it that at the time. Yeah, how yeah. dare you, future Colin? <laughs> I should have actually just shrugged, to be honest with you, because it's a bit awkward. I've done that at the situations. What was like, the situation? Tell us. Um, Lyco disappeared. There was a war in front of us. Um, yeah, we couldn't find Lyco. That's about it, really. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit survival. <laughs> survival. A lot going on. Yeah, it's fine. Mm. Do you have um, any anything to expound upon? Um, hmm. Where well, we tried. Great, great plans. <laughs> Amazing plans, actually. And then uh, we decided to uh, do the best plan of all. <coughs> well, the plan for like I think maybe the fifth session in a row was rig the drive. Have you yeah. tried yeah. rigging the drive? Have you rig tried rigging the drive? drive? <laughs> we didn't actually break the drive. Um, what we yeah. was actually quite standard. <laughs> <laughs> the drive is operating within normal parameters. Look into the engine room; it's on fire. Yep, normal parameters. <laughs> I think you're fine. <laughs> we tried like hacking some communications. You didn't try, you it did it. Eventually, yeah. it worked, eventually worked, yeah. Clippy helped, uh, right? Alex won't tell you that, but Clippy, Clippy helped. helped. Yeah. <laughs> I I you were trying to write a secret message. <laughs> <laughs> Have you tried highlighting it? <laughs> 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 oh, and then we probably beat the message oh. to like that anyway. <laughs> yep. Uh, um, Lyco. Oh, Alice is oh, yeah. magic -y. Yep, we had that as well, yep. You, you, we had that, that you, was cool. You magically steered at her? I steered at her for a bit. Mm -hmm. I did some zig, zig things. That was pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. And that's obviously a whole fucking... Yep, <laughs> another arc to explore. Um, so that's what this game needed. More plot points. And that's uh, what we need. <laughs> more things to do. Uh, Lyco, what about you? What happened with you? Oh, you know. 
<laughs> the, uh, the, so usual. <laughs> the usual. The usual. I uh, I arrived in the place because I got to the place. Uh, that place. Be substation. You're actually cutting out a bit. So I'm sure. Am I? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Oh, uh, you might be just talking really softly. I might be talking. Just yeah, weirdly. Unusually quiet. I'll turn the sensitivity. If you could speak unusually that. louder, that'd be good. <laughs> With it. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so teleported to there, walked through the mess of general awfulness, mm. but primarily, oh, excuse me, general. The, uh, the chaos was sort of primarily contained to the, you know, the, the undead, you know, it was mm -hmm. mostly carcasses lying around, corpses, I should say, yeah, that appeared to have corpses. been dead prior to their being made dead again. Mm -hmm. um, Redead, as mm -hmm. one wouldn't say. Um, <laughs> so <laughs> I uh, talked a bit to the man who had chicken legs, and now he doesn't send the out that is. Mm -hmm. uh, he relinquished his chicken wings and ch I would change <laughs> from chicken legs to chicken wings. To yeah, that'll do. So that's, I hope not noticed. He's uh, now a uh, boneless. Wings, he's now boneless chicken wings. And he's he's tendies. Um, Alex, you're breathing on your mic. I've FYI. lost my train of thought. Oh, I tried to stop breathing. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. And I was, <laughs> 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 I was presented with a choice, and then there was a crash. I think you call that expert parking. Is what that is. That's it's not crap. That's, that's some quality piloting, is what that was. Quality. I just quality. I, I quality. Feel like, I feel like if Emmeline had been at the helm, what happens is the scene of you is like booting off like the exit ramp as you stumble out and everybody walking out and her leaning back and just going chuk chuk. You know, everybody remember where we parked. <laughs> 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 Adjust shades, you know. I mean, she'd have been down with that plan, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, it would. It was <laughs> skip all the shooting in the middle and get to the bit we need to. Yeah, I've pushed the button. Why is the drive not rigged? <laughs> um, <laughs> Did to rig the drive properly? <laughs> <laughs> Who unrigged the drive? More to the point. <laughs> but yeah. Rig. So we had that. Yep, there was the problem of missing Lyco and everybody kind of like, I guess, like pulling themselves a bit together uh, into the moment on the ship, and then going right. Okay, what do we do? We go to the station. It's the one place we've been told not to go. So mm. let's go. And then Lyco has the Hello Lyco, here is some plot. Also, look at the dead dead. And then, yeah, the, the chaos around you in the trash station. And then we go all the way up to the part where you're in the middle of the, like, the promenade. And the big open kind of park plaza. And various other names may apply. And then you... Uh, Cindale presents you with the choice. So you're a you're left with Urgalas is coming for the star stone that powers Absalom. And Absalom will die. However, I could power Absalom for as long as I can to try and buy the relief effort time to get here to rescue. Have some maybe like you know try and rig some kind of temporary power source to at least power some of the station so not everybody just suffocates or freezes. Or, I can go with you and everything. Have some dies. Your choice. Also, here's your friends. And at that moment, the ship drops out of drift space and just like smacks into the park, maybe like fifty meters away from you guys. And then like all the blue crackling energy as drive space dissipates around you. So, yeah, I think we um, we talk about goals, right? So, oh yes, I forgot let's about go uh, discuss some goals. I always like to do the catch up before we talk about goals because I feel like it makes more sense to refresh what you know instead of making goals the and then talk about what we know. <laughs> yeah, it's stupid, right? So, what's the what's the thought so far? So we've got. Uh, main goal is uncover the fate of Emlyn Daly, and then there's just Escate in there, um, which mm. was think of something to do with Escate. Uh, yeah. Like was she was a girl. Yeah, she was an Escate girl. Um, we've also got reconnect with the party after years' absence. Zig, how are we feeling about your goal? 
We're getting there, I think. I think we're making progress. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It might still be like an That's ongoing thing, but yeah. Oh god, Alex, why did you just choose every time? Gonna be... <laughs> this, like, honestly, that green is really like. Uh, it's just he finds really, the combinations it's of pain. Really tripping me <laughs> out. <laughs> green. Who yeah. needs drugs when you've got Alex? <laughs> That's kind of a nice. Biography title. That's that's my motto now. Thanks. Yeah, he needs drugs when he's got me. Grim. Yep. Grim. Grim. So yeah, Zig, are we keeping that one as is? Uh, I think we'll keep it. Okay. Zora. It was made in Fade Lyco. Guess it's still the same. Okay. Fade Lyco. Yeah. Retrieve Lyco. Lyco. Yep. Fade Lyco. And, the, and then I fight Lyco. Let's go. I'll fight you. <laughs> You'll win, actually. Like, actually <laughs> no, you actually no win. it's that Batman quote, isn't it? All it needs is a quarter for a book of matches. Um, <laughs> 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 Sorry, Zora. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's also such a fucking good Batman quote. What is it? Seventy-five thousand dollars for the slither of meteorite for the one in Metropolis. Metropolis and yeah. also needs, a, I think it's like a dime or something like that. It says yeah, for a book of matches. Of matches it's so good. I've got Ten files lessons though. Yes. It's fine. <laughs> he is the knight. So, 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 next. What's what's going on? Next. Talk to me. Yeah. Talk to me. Rally forces against Aspis. Is that what that says? That is what that says. Is it? Because it looks like Billy's fences Agatha Alpa, or Apla. It wouldn't help if I did it like this. It would not help. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. I, I like that. That is so 70s. That's, <laughs> mm, that should be in there the we background. Go. Oh, no, you've ruined it. That's oh, gone. Oh, oh, disappointing. It was great. It was it was like <laughs> something you would see in the side of a motel. Someone's getting shot. It's a whole thing. The police that are is arriving. the aesthetic I was going for with next. Why don't we actually see these? <laughs> 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 so, I mean, everyone I back in, them, right, like, into I the game the manager on the particles I'm in the game tab. I'm in the game manager. I lost soon. Right, so there's a party goals tab, Nico. <laughs> I'm seeing all the videos, but I'm not. I'm, like, I'm seeing all the other tabs. I'm seeing party goals. Next the session tracker. Before scheduling. I don't even see scheduling actually. For oh. I'm the right thing. I'm in SF game manager. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Auto glass repair. <laughs> Auto glass replace. Thank you. Wow, That's free advertising. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've just had the look I've looked Who said it's free? Mm. I've sold <laughs> myself. There well, you go, Nico's now joined us. Aha! New player has joined. Were you in a different document? You must no. gather your party before venturing forth. I still don't see it. But... <laughs> <laughs> what about venturing forth? <laughs> so everybody at home that's uh, listening, uh, both you're welcome and I'm sorry. <laughs> I am here. Can have arrived. Yeah, sure. Right, good. So, <laughs> this is where we've been, Zora. It's all okay. going very well. Yes, yeah, it's going great so far. Yeah. Um, but yeah, oh so oh rally God. forces against Aspis, yeah? Stick in yes. this. Cool. I think I am working well towards that. Uh, By which I mean, yeah. Aspis are probably going to be blown up. God, that's just as bad, isn't it? That is awful. Why did you do that? There we go. <laughs> they're all bad. They're, so ugly. they're all bad. <laughs> all of it. Fix it. Mine's fine. Mine's inoffensive. Mine's a nice. The easiest one to read cool is Zora's. Blue. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fix it. Fix it. <laughs> fix it. <laughs> 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 Anyways. Yes. Yep. I am committed to bringing down whatever they are. Good. For, uh, yes. Well, let's stick with it and we'll see. How's everybody feeling about the main goal as well? Large and in charge. I mean, we're moving in the right direction. Okay. We're moving in our direction. That's true. We have ah. moved. 
Right, well, we'll leave these as is, then, and we'll reassess at the end. Ha. Sue. Yes. Handles I think I've made important strength towards having completed that object and now having a big choice in front of me. Oh, <laughs> as as that's exactly the situation. Yeah, it's because that's exactly what we said at the last one. Yep. Um, in fact, Lago, do you have anything you'd like to replace that with? That's a good <coughs> thing. Like, do you have any new goals? You can slot in. <laughs> Make the choice is not an... <laughs> Any thoughts? Uh, not at the moment. Okay, have a think for the end then, um, and we'll see where where the pieces lie at the end. But let's zoom the camera in through the horrible <laughs> space battle that's going on, all the way in through the kind of kind of visible like a what's the word visual ceiling I guess like. Transparent ceiling into yeah, that's much better, Alex. Well done. And then um, all the way into the absolute trash pile that is the plaza now with the ship cooling down. Um, and I think we, we cut to inside where it was not a pretty landing at all. Um, can everybody who is in the ship make reflex saves? Yes. I mean, preferably not. <laughs> he didn't I mean, ask you about your, you know, chances of success. <laughs> <laughs> more about your ability to do so. Actually, no, you said preferably, so that doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> Never mind, it's all okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, we have one so far, yep. Um, how do I get to the things? <laughs> things. Yes. For a second, I had the plus two racism bonus in my head there. The <laughs> plus two the racism bonus, father. <laughs> plus two the racism. Plus two with your speed. So, dear gods. Okay, that's fine. Um, so Zora, you um, you get smacked about in the cockpit. It's Hold not. Up. It's not ideal. It's not great. It's, it's not um, captain like, you know. Um, <laughs> but yeah, Will you tell me what's Captain Lake, okay? Uh, just, I'm reading it from the Captain Manual. Um, I'm my own captain. <laughs> <laughs> you might, you might be soon. Um, but yeah, um, Zig and Nix Five are completely fine. Um, but it's just as the ship like smacks down onto the floor, unintentionally. Yeah, it's not a pretty landing. Um, probably should be said because I'm pretty sure I wasn't strapped. Yeah. So, much just so, can someone tell me how much health the ship has? Yes. Yeah, sure. Good. Will and someone loads. do? Loads. Well, once it loads. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> loads. <laughs> 70. Ah. Pure. And honors. 30 shields. Right, okay. So, as with all good things. It yeah, must come to an end. Yeah, does someone want to roll a? Okay, how bad's it gonna be? A D sixty nine. Why? Do you want? Do you want Alex? Can you do it? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, can I? Do I remember how to do it? So slash slash, slash R. R. What D six six? No. One D sixty nine. Yeah. Eight. So perfect. The ship took eight we damage. Were, we were great at this. <laughs> the shit. <laughs> it's alright. Eh? <laughs> that could have been could have been much worse. This was Sorry. well thought out. I just and, feel like um, that accurately represents how safe this was. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all things considered, really, it's praise Zig, isn't it? At this point, like. <laughs> so. Uh, praise Zig. Until he's willing to throw him into the sun at some point, but yeah. Um. But yeah, I so I think he's got to willingly throw himself at the sun. Yeah, but you'll need help because he's only little. I the, um, I can only fly oh, like <laughs> thirty <laughs> feet. <laughs> we can become sun brothers. You only do that thing from uh, Final Fantasy Advent Children, where one person throws you up, and then the other person grabs you at that point and tosses you the rest of the way. And yeah, that's physics. Yeah, uh, I will oh, never yeah. be a memory. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> anyway. Um, really like so the probably the like the landing struts of the uh, ship attempt to deploy as the thing crash like lands onto the plaza and that's where the damage is. So the landing struts are fucked. There we go. Damage is focused there. Um back outside so Lyco some kind of kicked up kind <coughs> of turf lands at your feet from the impact and we've got that shot of like your hair kind of being billowed by the uh, the sudden pop of a ship in existence with the kind of blue crackling energy as I said it's about 50 meters away give or take I've closed my eyes to keep some of the dirt out of yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but and you realised the dirt was in your mind all along yeah <laughs> And then um, Sindael kind of looks back at you as if you should be pleased, you know, that kind of expectant look. That's a um, weird way to say that, the expectant look, not the expectant look. <laughs> I'm not going to tell Tally, but this is not very good at it. <laughs> um, oh god, see this, this has not become any less tough. No, uh, it's not meant to really be easier either, except you now have an escape. Also, the ship's not fucked, which is nice. Yeah. Uh, okay. Has he explicitly stated the time frame for making this decision? I assume it has to be very soon. Um, I mean, you could ask him. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, so... <laughs> Keep in mind what he just explained to you about time. <laughs> oh, that's a good point. <laughs> so, uh, I can't wait for this. <laughs> what? <No>. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> what's the uh, what's the time frame on this? And he just kind of cants his head a little and kind of looks a bit less expectant now and more a bit kind of almost what's the word nonchalant, I guess. <laughs> Maybe not to the words, maybe like passive poker face, yeah, one of those. And then um, kind of straightens up and he says, My brother will be here soon. And he kind of like gestures towards you. I need to be out of here. And that happens. Yes, ideally you will not be here. Then... I have brought you to your friends. Any kind yes. of gestures like between you and the ship? Thank you. They've made a... <laughs> They've made a quite an arrival. They are to make a departure. Are we to go, or are you to go? Also, I have no idea where his voice is going, but it's going somewhere. So I'm going with it. Fair days, man. Um, that that's a toughie. I uh. I'm honestly not sure. I think with that as well, like you have that moment where we do that 360 camera shot around you, and um, you just hear like the wrenching metal of the station as it almost like cries out in pain. Um, okay. And like, obviously, there's the riots in the background that maybe get like their audio turned up a bit. I am. Um, because obviously there's chaos. I, I, I think I said last time as well that the mm. the undead hadn't specifically uh, <laughs> been placid in their defence of uh, themselves and or the living. Yes. Um, and the living obviously blame the undead for this. They think obviously, oh no, sudden betrayal, etc. Um, and obviously the only thing that people know is the corpse fleet are firing outside. So 
Yeah. We... Or at least the Oxian fleet, I should say, more accurately. Uh... Yeah. If you want, you could review with your peers and f other players, if you wish, a moment of I mean, stepping yeah, above. Flex. Yeah, I yeah. think the obvious <clears throat> choice is go with you guys. Bolt your rocket. <laughs> Bolt your rocket. I, I, I just... It's tough, because I think um, his instinctive reaction here is run away. Mm. Um, which I think is a smart reaction, but this is an RPG. <laughs> <and> <laughs> So let's let's look at it, right? So the choices are take Sindel with you and leave in the ship, right? That seems to have been the goal is to leave in the ship. Either with or without Cindy. Cindy's willing to power the station. On the off chance, people can arrive, fabricate an alternative power source, and keep the station going. It's quite a valid resource and there is a significant populace on the station. So there's that. Or there is cut your losses with the station, bail with Cindy, potentially get some interesting answers, comma, powerful ally later. And there's no guarantee that if Cindy stays, Cindy will die. Yeah. Right? But that's all, that's a bit... Hmm. Mm. Why would Cindy make you make the choice if that wasn't given what Cindy can do with time? Right. So I'm not saying that if I was a player, I think maybe Cindy knows Cindy won't make it if they stay. But then, if Cindy doesn't stay, it's unlikely the rest of Absalom will make it. If I was a player, I'd think that. Yeah. I'm the GM, and it's mysterious what I think. So, Nico. The, the trouble I'm having. Yeah. Let's let's like you have a wee think. We'll just go through everyday. So, Nico, thoughts? Um, I mean, obviously no, I mean, not Zora. Probably like, not. remember, not Zora. You like? No, I, I'm 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 obviously the safe option is to run. Um, well, I think there's any option to stay, uh, right? Like the, nobody's the, saying yeah. Lyco needs to stay. Yeah, yeah. Um, the. I mean, I, I guess it's really. Like a moral point with Ico as well. Like I guess, like the only real reason to stay right now would be as if we want to save everybody on Absalom, or we want to save Absalom. I mean, there's obviously on couple of feet at Emil and Dali or whatever, but I honestly don't think we would. When you stay, you mean to make Zindi stay, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, and I don't think we would ever find like Emma like with it. Uh, you know, Emma's office isn't on Absalom. Yeah, <laughs> probably. I don't know where that is. Though. No, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> we know a path. Way. <laughs> yeah. Yep. But when there's uh, one, there might be others, right? I mean, there is probably others. Like, there's probably other ways to find it. Just extend that. Prob I, I quite a bit. Probably. Mm. Like, all leads would be gone. Practically. <laughs> <laughs> Not if you could find Edgar. That's that's true. Old Edgar. Yeah. We'll just go to. Well, maybe not Hedger. Yeah, but McCall, please. Maybe not Hedger, no. Yeah. We, yeah, we don't like Hedger. Hedger's <laughs> a different head. Yeah. That was a bombshell uh, several sessions back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, um, right, what about you, Alex? Let's, let's go. The problem at hand, what's your thoughts? Um, Besides, you're glad you're not making the choice. I mean, that's <laughs> always the case. Um, <laughs> yeah, put someone else in the hot seat. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> Lyco seems obviously a little bit. I was going to say self-serving, but it's not entirely wrong. Yeah, it's also he's not he's entirely true. Well, there, also a cop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Although, he's also a cop. Like, he's not a bad guy. He's more exactly. he's not a, he's not a bad guy, but he's a he's a pragmatic guy, and. Um, in all the other conversations we've had, he's generally been one of the voices of uh, recognizing when we're kind of out of our depth. Mm. Um, and part of me is of the mind of 
We are only level five. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Have you some of, that, the Bulgin, man? some of the things we're playing with probably above our pay grade. Mm. Um, okay. I mean, in character, next five is locked and loaded and ready to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're fully armed and operational. <laughs> yeah. And safely strapped in. Zori didn't obviously have time for seatbelts. I mean, <sighs> yeah. I, I did warn him. Yeah. You did? Yes. I was just, I'll just go. You did. I, I was mm -hmm. just like, I'll just go. <laughs> Captain, if you'd wear your seatbelt, growls in Vesk. <laughs> <laughs> um, Probably just have a swear word in Vesk, just as the, the jump patterns. <laughs> <laughs> It's just your slow motion, kind of elongating in drive space, smacking into a wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spy against the wind. Probably just the word "vuck." <laughs> 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 Our own space swear word. Uh, Zek. <laughs> <Just shit, Zach. laughs> <laughs> it would be apt, right? <laughs> That's why I don't pass it. Otherwise, too often. <laughs> Uh, um, <laughs> them but but on that note, Zig or Callum? Callum. Um, yeah. Callum's very keen on the running away. Kay. Run away plan. With or without Sindale? I think. Because at no point did Sindale yeah, give very give useful to have around. Yeah, but like at no point did Sindale ever give Lyco the impression that Lyco got the choice to stay. Like, like, Lyco was told, pick between us leaving or you leaving. So, running away is not a choice. That's a guarantee. It's just with or without Cindy. It's a, do you leave Cindy as the replacement battery? Because it doesn't look like Cindy's even able to stop Urgalas taking the, the Starstone. Yeah. So if you, if you trust Tyndale, obviously. Yes, obviously. Um, Someday I might just want the Star Stone for themselves, right? But regardless, you should probably just go in assuming that her glass is going to get the stone anyway. Mm. So... I mean, it is what I've wrote. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so, whatever... Spoilers! <laughs> As if I'm even telling I mean, truth. Callum's like, uh, what's Absalom Station ever done for me? Fuck <laughs> you <laughs> <laughs> Um, got you that link but to I don't know how you would feel about that. Go okay. on to this amazing, caring, loving crew. They must have probably care and loving sales for a year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, that's true. Come up, we're being paid to search for Edgar for a year, but that's fine. No, no, no. Like, you assaulted the facility Edgar was held in, and then Zig appeared through temporal bullshit. Totally there mm. for Zig. Totally. I was we were there for Where there was actually, was it not like a lead on Zig? And so, just totally. when uh, it's kind of a bonus package. Next five, or is like oh, I forget which one it was specifically. Uh, it was like no, I was there for the goblins prisoners. That's that's who I was there. For. I, I, I saved the goblins. Yeah, <laughs> I felt like it was you, but I was like, I feel like also Nix would have done it. I didn't it. see any reason not to. I looked at them for a while. They weren't doing anything wrong. I was like, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Space is horrible, children. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I would have been there for the goblins first. If mm -hmm. I knew the goblins I'm... were there. <laughs> <laughs> so, so like, I think yeah. Callum thinks um, Cindy L would be handy to have about. Like, Absalom Station's gonna get fucked regardless. It's whether or not. You know. Yeah, but it's not so much. It's, of, yeah, I was gonna say, it's the millions of people on it. about to die. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is this Callum where you ask me for a number of people and you can decide if it's worth it or not? Is that what you want? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, four. We can run the there's there's, there's, what's, there's, what's, there's what's only four. And it's all of your souls. <laughs> oh, that's fine. <laughs> we can let that go. So, Absalom in the bin. Millions of people bye bye. gone. Your souls are dead. Next challenge. <laughs> I have completed your challenge game. <laughs> Everyone. Uh, Welcome to level 18. You've got the XP for the kills. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> this was my secret way of leveling you up faster. Uh, <laughs> but on a more serious Just note, Lyco, when we fade back to you, 
and it does that close up of your weird black cracked lips. What do we uh what do we see you say? Let's go or goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> that would be what the, the red and blue text would say at the bottom corners of the screen. Ah. <laughs> He uh, looks down for a second. Mm -hmm. Which in space is hard. <laughs> Not relatively. Looks up and then round to Sindel. I'm imagining he's sort of facing towards the ship and away from Sindel. And he says, sort of like looking back over his shoulder to him <sighs> Do what you can here. I, uh, I got a ride to catch. <laughs> and then, um, Cindy, like, just laughs, really, like, unexpectedly. Just this kind of weird kind of half cackle, um, that kind of ends in, like, a kind of cough, where he, like, it, it wipes his mouth. And then, uh, it just looks at you. And do you like do you turn around to look at it or do you just head off? I I'll keep it I'll hold it's it's gaze, yeah, I'll, I'll turn to it. And uh he kinda looks at you and he says A wise choice like old Quint And then he puts his hand out. Like to shake it. I will do that then. Yeah, it grips your hand. It shakes your hand and can you make a will save? Certainly. One second before I open the character sheet. Mm. Oh my! <laughs> I can hear your roll. Really? It sounded loud. I mean... Bloop. I didn't make any rolls. So really? I heard something. It seems like it came through someone else's. Maybe it was mine. I don't know. Oh fuck, that's not a good roll. I'll take plus one on it, but it's not a good roll. Alright, it's um, interesting because my connection to a roll 20 has died. Yeah, I was about to say that. Yeah, I'm not saying yeah, nothing's happened. Oh, right. that may be why the noise is weird. It was mine. <laughs> I was going to say, you have broken rule 20. Oh, I it see is, it. It was bad. So you're going yeah, to add a 1 to that, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, cool. Because why not? Hmm. Is it still bad? <laughs> <laughs> it's still bad. <laughs> I see it, bad. <laughs> that's a good that was on a roll right oh, there. Oh, that's tasty. Welcome. There we go. Cool. Um, so yeah, bit of a uncomfortable tingle, obviously, when you're shaking Cindy's hand because that's weird, right? Yeah. Normally it's stroking your face, and then um, yeah, mm. it does that thing where like it shakes your hand, you get the tingle, and it does that kind of final. This shake is done, and then its hand just kind of drops by its side, and it says. It will be interesting from here. And then points at your ship. I'll uh, nod and um, turn to, you know, turn to walk off towards it, but just like as I take my first step, turn back around and just quickly say, uh, good luck with your uh, brother. And um, there's just that kind of moment like as if Sindel, like when you turn back around, is almost kind of looking into like the middle distance when you're looking. So Sindel never really looks like he's really looking at you. And then um, you'd like turn around and you say good luck with your brother. And it kind of just looks up at you and kind of holds your eyes. And then, uh, not that's creepy, holds your line of sight. Maybe it's better. That just doesn't hold your eyes. And then um, just smiles after like three seconds, you know, just big ear-to-ear -ear smile in that creepy way. And then doesn't say anything, and he just turns around and slowly walks away. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I will walk off to the ship. Yeah, I mean, just got that kind of sideways shot of the ship at the far, far right. Like, the kind of door out of the plaza way to the far, far left, and then you two just parting ways in the middle. As possibly some kind of part of the roof slowly falls off in the background. So, uh, the access hatch ramp uh, alarm goes off in the ship. For those on the ship, someone's boarding you. Uh, I mean, um, 
So Rather than getting slapped a bit. Yeah, I was going to say, so Nyx 5 and Zig can act first, and then Zora, you can go last. Hmm. So the alarm, gonna... the alarm that says someone's breaking into your ship. What's going on? I think I'd probably just run to the to the the the, the, the loading <laughs> ramp and get ready to mentally fuck someone up. Fucking! <laughs> 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 okay, what we didn't see. Stressful day, man. <laughs> what we didn't see is in drive space, time travels very differently, and also in Zig, time travels very differently. So Zig watched all the Rambo movies while jumping <laughs> from the start of the battle to now, and uh, has like a bandana on, has the face paint on, has a bow. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I think I think. Um, Zig bow. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I think I think he would. Um, he's he's kind of very jacked up on adrenaline right now, mm. um, having just like for realsies been able to fly the ship, uh -huh. um, and uh, crashed, and feels kind of actually quite awesome. I think he's glowing slightly out of excitement that he's kind of forgetting himself uh -huh. a little bit. So he's gonna run to the back of the ship. Awesome. Alright, what about you, Nyx? By that, of course, I mean Nyx5. By that, of course, I mean Alex. By that, I mean you're still muted. And here I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> I just gave out a brilliant, fantastic plan. Ah, and, uh, it can never be repeated. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, it can never be repeated. I'm sorry. <laughs> missed out on it. If that only all our local audio was recorded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be awful. Uh, yeah, probably. Um, that'd be great. <laughs> well, it'd be something. it will be things. So yeah, what do you do? Uh, so Z Zig rambles up and bolts for the, the back door. Zora's on the floor. What do you do? I pick the captain up. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, War Machine oh, leans down, no, picks you up. <laughs> uh, good landing, I suppose. Yes. Uh, You're welcome, we Captain. We have fitted seatbelts, Captain. Uh, seatbelts are useless. If the ship blows up, you're going to blow up with it. Yes, but what about all the cases where it doesn't blow up, but you have a rough landing? I'll survive. <laughs> if I can survive space goblins, I can survive a landing. <laughs> <laughs> Next five blinks slowly and then moves towards where uh, Ziggy ran off to. Yeah. So, <sighs> yep. And it is just like the back cargo bay door that's being uh, opened yep. against the, uh, you know, the ship's will. <laughs> the ship field as well save as well. And then, cool. uh, yeah. So do you head off that way? Uh, what about you, Zora? Yes. Just kind of shake my head and just I just pressurize the cargo bay and then get ready to f to fucking blow the door hatch. Right? There we go. Sorry, to no more intruder. No, 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 that. no. Uh, nah, I'll just <laughs> just, just release my head release the proto molecule. Yeah, and start <laughs> running towards the 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 cargo bay. Well, saying the rest of the wicked is the rest of the wicked. Hmm. Or wicked. <laughs> or wicked people. <laughs> Uh, and I think you just hear a uh, Alice saying, "I thought I, I thought Lego said we weren't the bad guys." <laughs> <laughs> As you like, you run out of the the way, and she like kind of uh, blinks her faceplate back on because she was hiding. <laughs> that was Alice. She just turned her faceplate off for the landing. <laughs> Doesn't have to look. Right, so use a uh, run to the cargo bay. Uh, Lego, do you want to describe how you look? Dashing. Um, As he literally runs in the cargo bay door. <laughs> I mean, I don't know that looked much different. It's not been long. Nope. It's been like a couple of maybe maybe two hours. Probably. Uh, you know, I don't. I don't think he's necessarily in, in his best state of mind. Mm. What with things going the way they have been. But uh, I think you've just got like a, a moderately 
tired. Like on your hands. Mm -hmm. So Zig, you're up first, I think. Well, Zig comes charging towards. Well, I guess towards you, um, Michael. Um, I think at this point he's 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 uh, starting to, you know, charge charge up his his his, his mental thoughts of just negativity. you know negativity. Um, pain. The word you're looking pain. for is pain. <laughs> that crushing gravity that the that the sun entails. <laughs> Um, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to. I'm trying to see like w how quickly Zig would realize that it's just Lyco and not some super exciting, horrible monster come from the depths of hell to break into the. Give us a will save. We'll find oh, out. Okay, okay. <laughs> this is when a. Uh... Yeah, I'd say you probably you probably know it's pretty quickly. Yeah. Yeah, like, um, yeah, pretty damn quickly. Maybe it's like a smell. Maybe it has a, st a distinct smell. Mm -hmm. Slightly decayed. Yes. Not necessarily that. I just mean maybe he wears like you know space number five or something. You know. Which smells of decaying flesh. <laughs> um, <Slightly> yes. <laughs> rotten. Oh, the <de> grave. I <laughs> <laughs> um, I think Zig would actually just keep the same pace though, and just kind of charge up to him and sort of stop like dead in front of him and just look at him and blink. No pun intended. Yeah, blink. Oh, it's dead in front of him. No. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> just making a joke that didn't make sense. Just disarming your <laughs> non making sense joke. Anyway, so yeah, Lyco, you're greeted with a startled, but you know. Charging, Dick. he's charged at me, and he's the one who's confused and startled. <laughs> um. Ah, hello. <laughs> um. Hi, hi there. I, I raised, I raise a hand in greeting. Uh, slightly alarmed greeting. Well, like a stop and, uh, sign hand, or like I go to shake his hand. No, raise a hand and a hey. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Huh. Kind of way. Uh. You, I, I raise you? my hand as if to say, hello, what? <laughs> Zig kind of co like, cocks his head to the side and we all, uh, are, are, you, are you okay? Yeah? Are Good. you? And he'd run back to the cockpit. Uh... I think at that point, like, Zig runs past Nyx, who walks into the cargo bay, or runs into the cargo oh, bay, I guess. think I'd, I think I'd climb up Nyx's back, like... Seeing him pass, I think Zig's like really hyper at this point. Um, okay. So as like as like Nix is walking past, he just kind of does another like one eighty and scurries up his back. Flash to years before the gap. Two scientists going. What if we mixed rat DNA with that of a Jack Russell? <laughs> huh. Now if zoom all the way back to now. <laughs> the scientists yes. are Jack Russells. <laughs> um. I mean. Don't lie, that improves it. Uh, <laughs> it's not going to make it worse, that's for sure. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stand around looking a little confused by the greeting and continue into the ship. Yep. Press. So, uh, next five, you're, you, you greet your <laughs> once lost Garmad. I'm glad we found you, Lycan. You found us. Uh... Yes. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate the uh, timely arrival. We should leave. Um. Yes. Hmm. Where's the Where's the captain? On the floor. Probably just. Yeah, I was gonna say as as you say that, I think Zora walks in. <laughs> <laughs> ah, how timely. Uh. Uh. The the station. Uh, it present is not good. It's it's pretty bad shape, but uh, things are gonna get worse. I don't know how much worse. Potentially shut down worse. So uh, can we do anything? 
It's uh, the thing from before. <laughs> so I love the idea that you say it's the thing from before, and Zig goes, yeah, the station. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, Sindel brought me here to show me what's happening and uh, give me a choice. Oh? Leave Welcome with back, him, leave you. <laughs> anyway, I'm, uh, I left him to do what he can for the station, but it's, uh, we, we shouldn't be here long. Or at all, if possible. Can we leave? <laughs> well, you're here. Mission accomplished. That was easy. I would like it, everybody. <laughs> but what I love, though, is, right, so at this point, everybody looks at you confused, because the mission wasn't about coming to find Lyco. Uh, right? There is a reason you came to Absol. How fast can we get out of here? I would look around. Well, good question. Um, next. <laughs> um, I think I need to check the drive, and how easily we can engage thrusters in the current situation. There's a few technical issues to work through. The Is this issue. place? You know, we're potentially, who knows, minutes, hours away from a, you know, all systems down situation, so. I don't know if that would make it easier to take off. I'm, um, not, I'm not sure of what it effect it would have, actually. I hadn't thought about that. I can't say there's... Uh, my mate died there, sorry. Welcome back. I don't know that we have much uh, data to go on in terms of launching from the central plaza to the station. Um, I should probably go and inspect the engines and get us ready. Third node. Yeah, I think next five would leave to go check out. Talk to Alice and check out the drives. Yeah. Zack. Hmm? How about you take control of this ship? I think Zig's eyes would widen. Uh, just just hugs the side of the drop ball. off. Nix is back and just like stare at the captain, run up to him and be like, hmm. Nodding furiously. Yeah. I would nod back. <laughs> I would just nod back, seriously. <laughs> captain. Zig runs uh, off to the cockpit. So is that Zig captain now? <laughs> That's like how Zig it. took uh, it. <laughs> he, he deputised, I take it, yeah. <laughs> uh, captain. I don't see. <laughs> you have <it> like... <laughs> what, what, what are you... What are you thinking? It's obviously the concussion from the landing. Um, we found out things in the last two years. <laughs> Lyco raises an eyebrow. Like a really good pilot. Did you know that? Uh, you know, honestly, no idea. I mean, he flies in space all the time. Are you surprised? Uh. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Medium what's, to moderately, yes. <laughs> what's the plan? We didn't. I, I assume you came here on account of the. Well, actually, why did you come here? Um, we sent you a message. <laughs> <laughs> I look at my comms. Is it showing anything? No. I, um, I, didn't, was, I didn't get it. It was coded. Um, through the um, what channel did we send it through again? Through the, the, the Oxian, Oxian fleet. 
Yeah, it was just the Oxian. We sent a coded message through the Oxian fleet's channels. We were hoping you'd pick up. <laughs> ah. Okay. I guess you did. Um, yeah. Please beat us in there. Um, see, the thing that confuses me a little is that I, uh, I didn't receive it, so you didn't know I was here. Lucky guess. Yeah, I can see a loop of intuition. We need to get out of here before that thing. Yep. Well, I would not. just before that thing does anything, ideally. I would not. Um, let's not get involved with this. Um, although I would have liked to have done something to help with Absalom. I think it's kind of beyond our help. Sindeo, I, I, think, I think he's going to buy it time, but I don't know. Fuck, yes I do. I do know how to contact. Um... I don't know if this is wise. Why I don't want to drag us into it, but if we could spare a moment or two. I don't know that comms are getting through very effectively, but I would like to inform someone in the chain of command at the stewards of the situation with Sindal. I'm not sure they fully understand what's going on. I was just kind of extend my arm towards the cockpit. I mean... I guess we've got time until the they get the engines working. Um... This doesn't work. Oh, I might actually have to go and find someone. I try and, uh... and contact... Um, who was... Fuck, what was the officer's name? Chakos? No, uh... Oh, Babak? Your commander? Babak, yes, thank you, Babak. Commander? Commander. I, 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 I try and, 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 and call Babak. I... Right, so how are you going to do this? Do you your personal comm? Yeah. Yep, so you go to comm, and there's, like, what do you see? Commander was his rank, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Commander, yeah. Commander Babak, are you reading? And then, there's nothing. There's like no response. He could be ignoring me, but I don't think so. Could also just be the range, right? Yeah. You could try the ship's comm. could try the station comms. Good point. You've got options, right? could try both, yeah. Yeah. Could route the ship comms through the station comms for no reason. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> Extra <laughs> roll. <laughs> station comms. Uh, right. Yep. Because you've out you've still got the you call it the stewards override. Yeah. For the station That's comms. Yeah. I'll put I'll put this all across as much of the station as I possibly can. Um. It's just like, going, like, like o oddly nervous on the station comms. Uh, hello like, there, everybody. If you could uh, just like, uh, uh, so I don't think it would have to be that back specifically because he might not be there. Anyone else might be. So it's like uh, something to the effect of you know wanting to say any steward listening, but I'm not quite sure how to phrase. Um, okay, and you know what? Okay. Any officer of like station security or Absalom security or yeah, you know, like you could you phrase it anyways. I, 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 you know, as as the sort of the the mm -hmm. of, of the station comms coming on everywhere. There's a this is uh, Quint. I call Quint. Any ranking officers of the stewards reading? Be aware that what, what's the what's the core thing called again? Stone. The Starstone. The Starstone that used to be the world, and then the world's gone because this isn't Pathfinder. Um, How dare you? <laughs> it's not your father's Pathfinder. Uh, 
be advised that the uh, entity on board intends to take the star stone a the Axian bone sage known as Sindael is intending to do what he can to counteract the effects of this we do not believe that he will be able to do so on any long term basis may be enough for him to evacuate his people this station is in danger beyond current situation uh, good luck I guess <laughs> don't try and stop it I don't think I don't think anyone here can and that's it yeah and I think um, like as you kind of you have that maybe that look on your face of is there more I should add is th is this it you know and then you let go of the the button and you just hear the the crackle of the uh, you know the radio and I think it does that thing where it kind of fades out and we still have that crackle noise um, of the radio and then that kind of noise slowly becomes like the shooting of the spaceships outside Okay. And then we have a wonderful cutscene as we zoom in past all the laser blasts that are hitting off the shield and it cuts to inside the shield around the big city in space and uh, very dramatically on one of the balconies within the uh, one of the spires of the city you've got this very thin tall figure standing and you just see the battle of the spaceships reflected in its eyes. Um, from like the impacts on the shield and then it narrows its kind of vision and then the camera zooms out a bit and you've got the long purple kind of floating cloak as it walks back into the room um, away from the balcony the door itself kind of seals over um, as if there was never a balcony there in the first place and then it touches a control console in the centre of this kind of cylindrical room that it's in um, everything's very kind of highly polished, kind of shiny, kind of looks almost like stone, but like really highly polished stone. And then starts touching this kind of central plinth, and all these kind of runes appear on it. And then it looks back towards where the balcony kind of door was, and then looks back towards the the center plinth, and then pushes the last rune, and then it vanishes in the room. And then we cut to the station. Absalom Station. It's just a, like a random part of one of the kind of, you know, levels of the station. Not the central plaza dome at all. And this thing crackles into existence. Um, much like how you saw the entity, or Galas, leave uh, Baskerville. This thing manifests itself onto Absalom. And then you see a couple of people uh, because you can see this is maybe more like the market district where like not a million miles away from like old man guns and old man blades you know you mm -hmm. see some of the the lower runged people running at this thing that's just manifest and obviously looks creepy as shit mm -hmm. they pull up their guns and run towards it and this thing just slowly stops floating from like maybe a foot off the ground and just slowly touches the station floor with its feet and then just slowly walks forward doesn't even really notice these people as they run towards it. They pull up their guns, they fire a couple of shots, the shots go a bit wide and then as soon as they get, say, 10 or so metres to it, they just instantly explode into... the literal term would be an exploded view of all their flesh gets torn away into like this dust. All their, you know, bones all splay out individually and then eventually they just... like kind of just atomize to nothing these two people that run it uh, this creature and then it just carries on walking and then we cut back to you guys in the ship so hmm 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 
What's everybody doing? So we're leaving, right? <laughs> yeah. Cool. <coughs> bravely. We're bravely running away. Are we? Um, not sure how much Lyco can do it's helpful at this particular moment. Well, let's leave Lyco like having just put the the mic down at this point. Like while Lyco yeah. is giving his speech out to every day, what is Zora up to? And we'll work through the crew that way. Well, Zora, they probably went to the cop, but they probably like kind of <laughs> points at the radio, hands radio to Lyco. <laughs> Powers radio uh, on. Uh, <laughs> and I'd probably call Nix and ask how the engine is. And then I'd probably uh, roll engineering to find out what the deal is on the engine, I assume. Yep. Uh, what was a uh, sorry, like Zora? What were you actually doing though? Like, I want to see, like, if we can multitask this for everybody. But I assumed you were going to work on the engine. Yeah, definitely got that pegged in for you. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess I, I would be just asking, like, Nick, how the engine is, and then how what I'm. Rather that you ask that, even though you know Nick had no time to look at it. I know, but mm -hmm. I have the greatest of faith in Nick. He's a talented man. <laughs> too much faith. I like that. You have too much faith. Less of that faith, please. Faith in friends and yours. Your engineers is usually a twenty side, right? Like, like, oh well, now you like, now you said it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but my engineering did get us into this. <laughs> we could have been cruising on the outside. It's been successful. Well, exactly. So yep. you head to the engine room to go harass. Next, okay. Next, you obviously start in the engine room. So Zora leaves the cockpit. Uh, where, what is Zig doing? Where is and what is Zig? Zig is making himself oh, was... extremely comfortable in the pilot seat. I mean, Alice is in the pilot seat currently. So on Alice. Okay. <laughs> 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 that I mean, fair enough. Fair, fair enough. He said I could. He said I could take control. I was like, okay, cool. So I am sitting. On Alice, flicking. Did you try and get I, I her to leave first, or did you just? Sit? Yeah, I, I, I like, I like waved. I, I assume I just sort of like, <laughs> threw, like hand gestures for her to move. But I like the idea. This climbed onto her. This scene plays out silently behind mm -hmm. Lyco while Lyco is giving this speech over the radio. Um, Zora realizes Zora has nothing to do in the cockpit, so heads to go check out Nix, and we've just got this almost pantomime in the background where. Maybe you first, like, kind of grab her like leg and try and like kind of nudge her as if to get off the the seat, but she doesn't recognize that type of cue, so it doesn't move. And then eventually, you mm -hmm. just climb up and into her lap. Yeah. I like the idea that we're like going to flick like same switches and stuff, but getting it slightly first, and she's beating me to the next one. I'm like, oh. I think everything you go to turn on, she'll turn off. Put it that way. Yes. So if you flick a switch to go on, she'll just like. Switch it off. Yeah, obviously, yeah, then I think we'll have that part where you just have that kind of belly back and forth. Then a uh, Lyco either stays in the cockpit. I think uh, yeah, it makes sense that you maybe sit in the other seat and just sit with the radio in your hand for a bit. Maybe Lyco. Um, yeah. Yep. And then so Zig, did you say anything to Alice at any point? No, I think he's still just like flicking things and then like trying to like slap her hand as she's turning things off. Yeah, and you're just slapping a metal piece of armor. So yeah, yeah, like after like a couple of the switches, she is gonna like say as well. She's like, you know, the engine's not working. You're just gonna stress it. Oh. Scratch his head. I think she scratches your head as well. Scratch his back. <laughs> I just don't think she knows what else to do in this situation. So she saw what he, he did. did. Start to like simmer down a little bit and just kind of sit and wait. <laughs> I think she just kind of sits and waits as well. It's almost that scene of Rocket and Drax, really, isn't it? Only Rocket's on Drax's knee. <laughs> Mm. So yeah, that's the thing that we we kind of then head towards the engine room. So in the engine room, all the equipment sounds angry, all of it. It all sounds upset, angry, and betrayed. 
<laughs> what have you done to me? <laughs> Why is this my power. life? <laughs> <laughs> How could you have done this? <laughs> Bobby. So, uh, yeah. What's the what's the plan with the old the old engine room? Um. Mm. 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 Well, we need the thrusters to work first. Yeah, he um. definitely does. There's a there is a greater problem, but we'll get to that. The drive is like the first step in that problem, but yes. there is a second step of the problem. But I think we need to resolve so. step one. I need to rig the drive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what yeah. is the, the plan? Is it to just jump away? Jump to the, the that planet. The Which planet? Or go on and puff before. Akaton? Akaton. That's the plan. I mean, Akaton's a good place to hide. Um, yeah. Oh, I need to get some repairs done. Uh, definitely no repair shops there. You probably worked in a few. Uh, yes. <laughs> Some of them might even be okay with me turning up again. Yeah. <laughs> that was three versions of me ago. You can't keep holding that against us. <laughs> 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 yeah. Nick's for the gladiator, really. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, back to plan A. Hey, little girl. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So kicking back in the original coordinates. Right, okay. Cool. So, like, just orbit of a, like, a high orbit of a Akaton. Yeah. Mm. Okay, lady. Cool. Uh, that would be a nav roll anyway, but we'll deal with that once we get there yep. more piloting really should see. Um, to actually plot the route, but you kind of need to get the drive working Function. again. Yeah. Currently, if we had to describe this really simply, okay, because I'm not Drift space drive engineer, um, unlike Nix Five, but you need the five things that make the engine work to work. And currently, one and two seem okay, but three, four, and five seem confused as to what their purpose is, and seem to have fused. So okay. it seems like the short jump meant things didn't unfold out of space as neatly as they should have and since the drive is the kind of focal point of that it took the brunt of the jump like landing on your an your ankle from a high yep yeah it's the the closest joint sadly that takes the brunt is the sort of thing we'd have spares on <laughs> i mean you have 34 crates of rice i think or grain grain, grain sorry grain, grain. Yep. um so, uh, no, I don't think he's actually ever bought any actual spares of <laughs> components. No, he spent a lot on weapons. Do we have a spare engine? <laughs> um, we give a lot of money to the the ship. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, maybe the it's ship right, so. <laughs> yeah. I like the idea. It's like okay, so we're cutting the ship in. Why? I don't know. Things got abstract. <laughs> <laughs> It's like bodies in space. Do you yeah. remember about Of course, one of my favourite episodes. <laughs> Am I alive? Yeah, Conley the ship has 31,000. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I love that line. Uh, the ship has 31,000. Yeah, I think that's just the ship funds, though. Um, yeah. Kind of fun, I was where it was fun, really, though. I, I mean, at no point did I ever get the upgrade list, right? Or the no, let's buy spares. Really did. So we never really did. End the, uh, we never done anything in the ship. Also, a drive is like a pretty crucial thing. You'd need to have like dedicated like a cargo bay to one, you know. Cargobi. Mm hmm. Cargobi. So uh, yeah. Okay. So you don't have a spare drive, but this one isn't exactly out. Oh, it's just maybe got one. One really bad jump left. <laughs> Can I kit bash something? Probably, yeah. right? It's kind of your whole yeah. character. Yeah, I'm sure there's, uh. Yeah. Mm. Bits of. I don't know, artillery cannon or something. That... Now, do you know what's really interesting? Mm. Use one at. Well, I say use. 
Zora and Zig seem dedicated to replacing Alice from piloting, right? I mean, Which means Alice doesn't have a job piloting. right now. Alice has got many jobs. She's good at many things. <laughs> Alice is good at two things, I dare you. <laughs> Asking questions and being weird. <laughs> That's fine. That's, she's a great addition for that. <laughs> she's a great helper. She'll help her in. I mean, she is in an experimental suit of battle armor, and she has some weird magic jank going on. So, just saying that mm. I don't know who would think about utilizing her in other ways. Not I, of course. <laughs> it just depends if you want to try and jury rig her into something. She stands guard real good. Oh, she's pretty. <laughs> to be fair, she's amazing at shooting. Off screen. <laughs> 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 Highest successful kill count and accuracy rating out of the whole crew. Except maybe Lyco might be upping that soon. I mean, yeah, probably. Mm. Mm, well, we'll see. That's a coming. <laughs> so, so, what's the thoughts? What do you want to do? What do you want to trash to find components to try and make at least a patch job to get? Components three, four, and five to work. Um, Figure out the ooze real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, we'll there is the ooze, right? Just throw stuff into it until it gives us what we need. Yeah. <laughs> the the uh, random ooze generator. It's like okay. Maybe maybe it's like maybe it just needs the component or the alchemical components that just. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> Alright, so let's let's take what Zora is saying to you as your act. Like, I like the idea that Nyx is there with all that the meme style equations floating around the room, getting in the way, and Zora is just there, like, cutting in front of the clearly crucial components of like you know these equations, uh, and saying, "What if we fed the ooze stuff?" Because really, what you're saying is, let's trust a drive engine. That we don't know how it really works. That an ooze that we don't know how it works made by us throwing flashlights at it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I want to see what happens personally, but do you? Let's call that plan B. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's not a bad plan. I mean, if it's, it's the only I plan. Don't do these things, right? <laughs> In the meantime, I'm going to go and tear components out of the escape pods. So we probably don't need all of them. How those. many are you going to trash? We've got six, haven't we? I think so. Let's let's go to the ship, right? Let's move us to the ship. Where did I put the ship? Actually, yeah, that's a good point. Where is the ship? There it is. I lost it for a bit. Scroll down, remember. Oh, yes. <laughs> Every time. I know, I really should have put that at the top of the map, but it's it's been at the bottom too long now. So, yeah, so let's let's reorient people. So you're no longer in the engine, Lyco. I'll just move you. Ta-da! I am the engine. And I think now you're in the cockpit up here. Oh, the engine. And you're here. And you're here. Am I alive? <laughs> It's such a good line. It will never not be funny as well. So, in the wonderful engine, uh, also there we go. So we've got six escape pods. Just in case nobody actually remembered that was a thing. That that that. Yep. Is. So cool. I'm gonna take the three on this side. And butch them. On the basis that we don't need them all. Okay. Because Alice will survive in space. That's wow. Zig will be fine. So would you? Um, yeah. You would say extra layer of fear to here now. It's called redundancy, right? <laughs> oh no, one's for the ooze. <laughs> well, I think <laughs> one's, I, I... one's for the ooze. And again, <laughs> for the booze. Yeah, no, I, I don't need to breathe, but the cold would be uncomfortable. Mm, that is very true. 
Ah, and, yes, the clod. Yeah. And also, it would mean going all the way across the ship to take <laughs> one of the other escape pods. It's all that way. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, let's just tear out these three. Okay. Cause so you want to go trash these? Yes. Okay, so let's see how much you get out of stripping the first one. Give me an engineering roll. Yes. Oh my god. It's 26. Alright, let me uh, consult the <laughs> next bullshit chart. Let me see. <laughs> next bullshit. What level you guys? Five? Yep. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, sorry, I'm not laughing at you. And then. If you want to give me another two, and we'll just do all three checks and just see how this goes. Yep. 29. 17. Okay. That's not the worst. That's not the worst at all. Yes. Um. So, yeah, I think the check difficulty is probably 20 for this. I feel like that's that that's challenging, but it's not like beyond you, you know? Mm -hmm. Stripping stuff for useful components. I wouldn't say it's easy, given that you probably want to do it relatively speedily. Um, so yeah, the check's 20. So you manage to strip components from, let's see, let me just, can I go to the map without this wrecking everything? Can I edit this token without directing everything? No. Of course not. Why would that be a case of... Okay, so shift, double click. Good, that actually does work. So let's just... Yeah, I learned a shortcut for roll 20. And it's mm -hmm. so fucking good. I wish I'd known it years ago. Um, the shortcut is... See your tokens that are on here, by the way? See if you shift, mm -hmm. like left shift that is, and then just double left click on your token. It pops open your character sheet. Or like your yeah. token editor. Um, which is handy. Mm. Right, so you can fix component 3 and 4. Mm -hmm. But you don't have enough to fix component 5. So you would need something else. Yeah, yeah, just use Zora. Yes. <laughs> Zora pings. Well, okay. ping. <laughs> what have we got left? <laughs> have we got? Um. I'm just having a look at the mm. mini inventories. Mm. And keep in mind, this is a patch job. This is not a fix. Like, if that makes sense. This is like a... You can get them to fulfill their function and then maybe blow out. Yep. Um. Or it blows out and you just don't move anyway. That, that might happen. No. Depends on the, the role. But we'll, we'll get there. We'll deal with that. That's fine. It's the old uh, higher or lower uh, Bruce Forsyth game, really, isn't it? It'd be fine. Seventeen's low enough, right? You'd probably get higher. Yeah. Hmm. Seeing what I can actually throw in there. Yeah, everybody yeah, else can help with this, by the way. You just know that, guys. Right? You all have stuff. It just depends if Nix would have voiced this to anyone. <laughs> yeah, I think he's just running backwards and forwards with arms full of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> So everyone yeah. else watches. Yeah, so Zora, like, I think you're probably the only one, like, really able to see this, unless people are, yeah. you know, moving. I mean, I can't imagine I would at least be in the room, kind of, helping them lift stuff or whatever. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would just be, like, stalling in the room, doing absolutely... <laughs> just like, arms folded, <laughs> staring, <laughs> nodding. <laughs> like, yes, like, yes. You Nothing showed that. Actually. Yeah. The boy kind of lay on the forum of the valleys, but I don't know, uh, wait. What? Like... <laughs> don't we need those to live? Zora being one of the few people that needs to breathe air. 
Nah, I mean, he's also like kind of like. Like, could I you mean, still breathe? Yes. <laughs> okay. Don't know if too many vest ships would have many escape pods. I mean. No, they've got like. Their attack pods. Yeah, it's got, no, I was going to say, they, 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 yeah. they would be breaching pods. Yeah. Pods that detach from the main ship and limp it onto other ships and just burn through and drop Vesk troops inside. That's a I'll thing Vesk that. ships have. That, man. That's maybe what you've thought these have been the whole time. How <laughs> 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 We may actually need to get somebody, actually. What do you good. mean escape pods? Well, you've just made three spaces, so... I know, exactly, man. <laughs> I, yeah. I, exactly, exactly. I wouldn't even have to change the colour from disabled to attack, would I? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. So, I mean, <laughs> like, that's the thing. I would only really be able to help like, lifting stuff about. I just mean, like, do, do you interact with Nyx in any way, or just, just quietly move things? or? No, uh, no, I'd probably just be like, stay with his boiler and do his thing. Probably. Like, I mean, Nyx, at any point, do you ask him for, like, what else do we have? or? I think there's probably a stage where Nyx is just standing, staring at the drive, just processing. Um, Slowly a blinking. Sudden, yeah, a sudden lull in the uh, erratic uh, destruction of the escape pods. Mm. It's. Um, yes, does Zora like break that kind of odd quiet then? As you're maybe like. A you, problem? Uh, no, you wouldn't happen to have one of these, would you, Captain? And it just holds it up. It's a, just a lump of yeah, it's like a, a piece of fused <laughs> equipment with like two other pieces of equipment all fused in. One, there's just a cable running from it, which you're not really sure where that cable goes either. But it looks like three components just fused together. Would you find that in a laser rifle? <laughs> <laughs> I would lift an eyebrow. Like <laughs> just off the floor. Uh. <laughs> Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> I suppose I could have a crack at a laser rifle. Uh, I would. Uh, I've got a, a spell in my room. Give me two settings. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, don't you have like eight? Laser rifles? No. I feel like, didn't what? you lift a bunch off the drone? Eight. Oh, yeah. With bucketfuls of <laughs> lasers. I did. Uh, were they laser rifles? They lifted. Did I even? <laughs> like I was just like, I have a pile of stuff to be filed. <laughs> let let let's let's see. They were some form of rifle. So rifle. There is um. There's something in the cargo bay that nobody's ever looked at. That's fine. We don't talk about that. Oh yeah, the jump drive thing, or the whatever the fuck it was, the teleportation device, the no, wormhole what? device. You can have my rifles if they'd be helpful, <laughs> but I can't remember what they are. The wormhole situation. No, nope. what is that? Yeah, this this thing that's been in your cargo bay since like day one, that's been covered in a tarpaulin. Oh, I, I know. Uh, yeah. It was Emlyn's. Oh. I tear the tarpaulin off. It's a bike. It's actually. A th like I think it's a four seater kind of a kind of land buggy. That's what it is. What? Yeah. They turn up in such pretty colours. Yeah. <laughs> Don't actually know what that looks like up close. I'm going to see if I can zoom in on that. Possibly not, but we'll find out. Uh, control. Oh nope, that just hides it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, shift Z. There we go. Ooh. That's cool. Yeah. So Very executive. Remember Emlyn got like a birthday gift? Yeah. Yeah. What so the pilot got a car, basically. <laughs> and it's been under a tarpaulin the whole time. Uh, I can't remember the exact book it came from actually though. I'm going to just look on our character sheet to see if it's actually in I there. always keep my car under a tarpaulin. I won't clean my tarpaulin under a car. I'll be doing it more often. I won't. I probably will forget about it in like five minutes. Thank you. Um, 
Is that the exploration buggy? I, it must no. be. Is it like pilot plus three? Right. It's not. What's the expo buggy? Um, let's have a look. And what book's in? Because <laughs> it's not it's, our character sheet. I mean, there's the hover pod. Is it piloting plus three? Let's see, Starfinder. There's a level seven car. Man, that is a, that's a much cooler, much cooler image than what I had originally. I'm just going to show that in our chat for now. That is not what it is, but that's cool as, cool as fuck. Ooh. Um, hmm. Yeah, that is, that is much, much cooler. <laughs> Although this is really fucking awesome too, this random image that I found. And that's how you play an icon, just saying. <laughs> uh, Step up your game. Actually, I think I have a good random image for that. Let me find that. But yeah, where is this? Is it, is it in the armory? Is that where it hides? I feel like it was maybe the core book, but when I mean, the core book's got a few in it. Let's see, starships. No, go back a bit. Equipment and vehicles. Yeah. Trade goods, services, lodgings, transportation. It's before that. That's hybrid things, vehicles. Just, yep. Exploration buggy, yeah. You've got a pilot and passengers three. Yeah. Here's how you play an icon. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> yep. It's just Lyco. Uh, <laughs> only it's Taylor Space. It's Jimmy Havoc. I love Jimmy Havoc. He's basically it is, a it is good content. Uh, but yeah, so it's the exploration buggy. That's where it is. Which will be actually in here now, in the compendium, right? Exploration buggy. Oh shit, actually. Yeah. So, large land vehicle, five feet wide by ten feet long by four foot high. So that's its dimensions, hence why it's that size. So that is that size, weirdly. Um, yeah, it can fit four people in it. And then we've got 15 speed, but full speed is 350 feet, 40 miles per hour, uh, 12 EAC, 14 KAC, partial cover, HP is 14, hardness is 5, and it's collision attack. <laughs> it's a 44. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that makes sense, but it's hilarious. Yep. I love that that's it's it's so very shown in as well. Attack collision. Collision attack. Yep. <laughs> uh yeah. So, so yeah. you just have that. Out of character, I don't want to mess with it. Out of respect. Yeah, like for the dead. Right. Like I get in that. In character. <laughs> it's by the time, <laughs> Yeah, the engine is already out of it. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> being dragged across the floor. <laughs> But I mean, yeah, that's definitely got a whole bunch of components in it, right? It did have components in it. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you going to strip it? Yeah. I'm stripping it, yes. Oh. I promise that I will replace it with a bigger, faster engine. Okay, yeah. Once we reach Ankaton and get those illegal or engines. Or a torpedo mini-sub. Yes. Yeah. Turn it into like a fly, like, not one of the flies, probably. It does not. It's a land oh, vehicle. No, we can make yeah. it fly then. We can make it fly then. And go through the you want to like kind of jury rig a police cruiser is what you're aiming for uh, I'm down because that can fly and is a land vehicle so you're going to see the police cruiser yeah <laughs> I'm down <laughs> I mean realistically right had you used the time there's probably yeah. one on the station somewhere yeah we should but mm. you know time, <laughs> time says no <coughs> Time currently does say no, but yeah, like... Roll for perception, there's the one just sitting in the street right side the <laughs> I think you wouldn't need to roll for perception. <laughs> does my perception make a police cruiser suddenly appear? No. Roll for vehicle generator. I mean, I don't know, I'll create your leg. How's that? Zara? Eh, uh, cool. I can get a Bionicle, right? Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but it's the one thing in the galaxy, they're all out of- Oh, sorry, we're all out. 
Yeah, it's going oh. to get a hand in the meantime, just there. Some kind of creepy robot hand leg. <laughs> the <creepy> <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> they were all out of legs. <laughs> <laughs> How do we do? But yeah, it's like so a vesk, is that a vesk, Elm? Because that'd be terrifying. That'd be horrible, <laughs> yeah. The worst if it was one of like the fucking Isoki. But anyway, um, you just be a limp you have now. Um, so, do you want to give me a a fourth engineering check? Yes. Mm. Be well. This is more about if you can rebuild the car afterwards, right? More so than if you get components out of it, because I think it'll be easy to get components out of this. It'll just be whether it's salvageable after. Yeah. It, it is not. It's, um... It's not trash, like, say, one of the escape pods, but it's definitely... You would need to take it to somewhere, and then they would basically just rebuild the whole thing from scratch. Um, mm. and charge you like three times the price uh, and <laughs> right in the bottom line like disposal fee etc etc um, mm-hmm. but yeah like it's it's not salvageable at this point but you could just like make a mark two as it were you know Yes. Um, I have a question yes like, it'd be kind of mundanely be able to help but I do have engineering as a, a thing in Mujigi M- m- ah, that's the game you get here. Ah! Ah! Sorry, ah. Just making noises. So, it's a career skill. So, like, I mean, basically he'd be directing me and I would be like, maybe hodding something while he's taking it out or something like that. Like, I feel like maybe that's, that's maybe something you should have said before you rolled, yeah. though. You know? Mm-hmm. Like, I feel like at any point you could have been like, so I'll help. Mechanic, yeah, since it's she like was like, boss, she know? was like my best friend. You know, and this is her car. Yeah. Because yeah. I actually can't wait to see the scene where he pulls bits of her car through and you're like, what are you doing? That's the part I'm waiting for. <laughs> no. So, yeah, let's maybe have that scene. So, Nyx comes through and... Uh, I found it. So, yeah, bip, 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 starts just dragging engine parts in and obviously, you know, the only thing worth those parts would have been her car. I kind of like Maybe put some time back over it. <laughs> 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 I was like kind of ocul- raise that ocular ridge. Uh, it screams. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not an eye roll. <laughs> <laughs> Just use this in the classics, you know, it's a remix. <laughs> Two ignition. But, uh, oh, hot and fresh in the kitchen. Mama Where did those come from? In that body. I found them in the car. Got every man in here rushing. What? That was Evelyn's car. Yes, and now it's going to save us. I just kind of sigh at the situation. <laughs> uh, oh boy! Well, luckily Please try board. and fix it with mother. Don't worry. Once we get to Akaton, we can uh, find a suitable replacement. I would nod. Oh man, like a fucking junk rider buggy or something. God, that'd be so cool. Oh yes. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> More guns. Instead of wheels, just guns. I feel like I can't be angry. I feel like I can't be angry <laughs> in this situation. Well, you could be. <laughs> I'm, I'm angry. Chuck him out the airlock, he just falls into the <laughs> plaza, into like a duck pond, gets flashbacks to a library. I'm not angry, this is confusing, we don't have words for other emotions. Zora <laughs> kisses him, like, it's all very awkward. Like, <laughs> I loved your next. <laughs> it was supposed to bring balance to the engine. <laughs> so. Yes, let's build this thing. <laughs> Let's build this fucker. Yeah. Maybe this time I'll actually, you know, help. As you just do the I do. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, <laughs> see. 
um, yeah, is, is helping. Is it helping? I, I mean, it's a plus zero. <laughs> I mean, but it's only a ten, and you doing it or something. So let, yeah. let's go for it. I got an eight. <laughs> Sorry, right. zero does not help. No, so it does not help. Probably was on it. Does feeling that hinder you? I don't believe so. I hope not. I'm just typing help into the compendium. Typing Heppel. It does not actually help. The conditions are helpless and diplomacy helpful. Is it assist? Aid? It might be aid. Aid another. Okay, so... It doesn't say that there's any negative. Yeah, let's see... And you've got the training in the engineering as well, you said earlier, so that's fine. Yeah, like... I don't see it saying. Yeah, doesn't seem to say anything for that. Yeah. Which is good. I like that. One of the few things the system I think got right. Good, good. No offence system. Carry on. So yeah, go wow. for it next. <laughs> do the rig. Do, 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 do. 25. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. Yep. You feel like you've probably got one jump left, maybe, but you don't want to be in the engine room when you jump. Yep. Yeah. Or maybe you should be in the engine room because then you know you will go and it, you won't like miss out the cockpit or the cargo bay when you jump. You're maybe in that kind of... Mm. Is it going to be enough power to jump all of the ship? Or is only some of it going to make it to drive space? I'm just going to wrap it up with duct tape. Okay, yeah. It's extra tight together. Yep. And, um, it's probably called a soaky tape in this world, isn't it? But yeah, you can uh, you can patch the thing up with space tape. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Um, I like the idea that after you like you finish doing all the really fiddly bits, you then just slowly start wrapping it in reams of the thing, like. The first part was like a kind of delicate watchmaker, and now it's just someone mm. give, given up wrapping presents at Christmas. So, yeah, with the knowledge that this should keep it together, but if it explodes, it will make it. It just means tape will yeah. also explode in our faces. Yes. Yeah. It's just increasing the pressure. Mm. Uh. Yeah. So. I think I'd lock the doors on the way out as well. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Captain. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to be in there when it goes up. Uh, I guess I will go in the other door. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Just phase yeah, through the wall. Oh, there's that. There's that. So no, I mean, yeah, yeah. Press me. Boop, boop, boop. Towards the cockpit to probably see what the back on. Yeah. So. Right, so. Lyco has said. Obviously, he's caught you guys up in the most briefest of ways possible. Of course. Um, while. You were fixing the engine, right? So I'm just going to pop you back into the, uh, the engine for now. So while that was happening, right? Meanwhile, moment to go. Zig, what's your plan for the cockpit lifestyle? Like, what, what's what's the plan? You've probably got a good bit of time to kill since them durigging the engine and stripping parts is going to take a bit of time. It is going to take a bit of time. Um, I I think Zig would probably actually start uh, just chatting to Alice for a bit, kind of ignoring the fact that uh, Michael's still in the cockpit. Yeah, but I think also, like, like I was there with the radio in it's hand, a bit waiting. In his own little... Like I was ignoring yeah. you too. 
Aww. Not Naka. <laughs> Just spins chair to face the other way. <laughs> Facing wherever Bono is. Um. Space Bono sees all. <laughs> but yeah, what do you what, what do you say to Allison? I think I think I'd probably. Uh, I'm trying to think of the, the best way to word it is Zig, um, kind of bring up the whole magic-y thing. But I think he'd try mm. and do it sort of semi-casually <laughs> in that sort of way where you're like, I'm going to make this really casual, but it's really not. Um, I don't know. For are, example you still, are you still sitting on her, just to be clear? <laughs> yes. Okay, super cash. Yep. Very cash. But like I've just got like the subtlety of Zig in my head's like so Afghanistan. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So. Ah, uh, I'm I'm, tr I'm trying to think of the best. Uh, I, I can't think of the, the right words. Mm. Bro, you tell us what you're trying to say, and we'll see if we can help you word it, Zig. Yeah, that'd be cool. Um. So we come out. Basically, he's gonna start off with like so. And have nothing to do with anything, and then eventually get to the point going. So how come you're all magicy like? I mean, I, th I feel that's that's pretty zig. <laughs> like, yeah, just random mumbling, and then just saying. And that's why I'm asking you why you're all shiny and magic. What's wrong with that? Maybe you'd start off with like a weird story, like. Did you know the sun can radiate enough light to light up the hearts of those in the deepest corners of the universe? I think when you say that, Alice goes. Michael screams. <laughs> but he doesn't, he doesn't. No, his, his eyes do though, as they rule. <laughs> um, <laughs> but like, um, I think as you say that, Alice says that's actually not factually correct. What? So, uh, 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 First of all, how dare you? Excuse me. And I she kind of, like, as you more. say, excuse me, and she goes, okay, and then like waves her hand to like the side of the seat as if gesturing you down. I. Uh, no. <laughs> I think I know more about these things than you do. <laughs> about non factual information, that seems true. So how come you're all magic-y and stuff? <laughs> and she kind of like just like scrunches up her face all confused and then like it just does that flicker ripple of the hologram as she kind of just stares mm -hmm. blankly and she goes What do you mean? And you can see like the kind of well, purple tones kind of getting to the cheeks a bit more than the orange. They're all Magic-y and stuff. Thank you, that's very nice of you to say. And she just looks but really no, awkward. Like <laughs> and then How are you looking at her, Sig? Describe it. Like, have you just, like, like turned no, around in her... On, on top. Wait, explain that she's a hologram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's kind of sitting half through the hologram anyway that projects over yeah. the armour. Yeah, but he's still sitting on top of the armour, so mm -hmm. what... Is he... Are you, like... Sat. So Straddling initially, her? he was sort of initially he was sort of like on her knee, know, like a kid would be, yeah. sitting just kind of sitting on on her knee. Now he's kind of turned around. He's on both his knees, facing her, and looking very intently at her, where her face would be, which well, I guess where her face is projected, the face area at her mm -hmm. face. Yep, yeah. her face. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um... <laughs> And um, I think I think at this point you kind of like dart around and he's like, well, when 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 I was looking for 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 and then just like nod to Lyco without like mentioning him because mm -hmm. he's in the room and apparently it's rude to talk about people in the room when you're not addressing them. Um, you were all magicy, like you have magicy. You're not not just. And then, like, knock on her knee, like, uh, or, or on the mm. thigh, like, donk, donk, donk. Mm hmm. Hmm? And she kind of just blinks. 
and she's still got the kind of almost the embarrassed twins on her cheeks and she's like I need to go speak to Nick's five and then just stands up and drops you off her and just walks away like just can I mind link with Alice I mean you can certainly try right can I try like as she like sort of stands up just, like mind grab link. her and force mind link on her wow that's mind assault and also physical assault <laughs> That's uh, assault. Go for it. Um, please tell me I put mind link in here. <laughs> I must have done. But what are you sending? Shame. All the <laughs> shady stuff. Okay, shame. just what you just what you saw. What I'm trying to explain to her. I still love how Ask Ryan is in that description. Like the top yes. of it. It's fantastic. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's kind of Alice's jam. Right? <laughs> um, I love how that was her hologram. Uh, <laughs> God, <I Well, she fails her will save by one. <laughs> ha ha! She rolls a fifteen. <laughs> if God, I, Alice. I can also add Alice to my list of people. Mm-hmm. Oof. So, what do you send her? Um, I think I think I'd send like what, like that the the sort of um. Like what a normal sort of like Android esque feeling <laughs> would be like, sure. right? You uh, know, um, and then uh, compare it to the the sort of magical vibes I would get. I was getting off Alice when I was searching for Miku to good Lyco. Can you roll the insight one? Sense motive. Sense motive. I can. Yeah. Oh, that'll do. Yeah, uh, that one. Right. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Cool. Right. So, you send all of the magic stuff that you had. Is there anything else that you were sending along with it? I'm sure there'd probably be a few distracting, like, um, just... Well, actually, moments with the sun. (laughs) Yes. Here is the warmth lighting up the the hearts at the far ends of the universe. Uh, Yeah, so... Yeah. Alice shorts out and falls over. The hologram vanishes and the armour falls to the ground. (laughs) Classic sick. Um, I think you just stand so like that probably uh, is quite startling. Uh, yeah, like was startled. Like she literally like uh, zig, like jams his hand on her ass or whatever it is, and then shorts her out, and then she like flickers off. I don't think I saw that, but as I got up and looked around, I would like see him standing there guiltily. Yeah, and she just literally like clunk forward, just a black suit you, of armor. What did you do? I, 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 I didn't, no, I, it's not, I... You've, you've, you've turned off our android, she, no, 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 that's, no, I didn't, I, I, I didn't, well, I did, but I, I, uh, uh, ship's calm. Uh, 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 yeah, yes. that's a good idea. And I think, you see, at that part where, like, you go to go to the ship's calm and say, Nix! You hear a voice reply that says, uh, Quint! And it's all crackly. Ah, uh, <clears throat> hello, Quint here. And you just hear, um, okay, what languages do you speak, Lyco? Is it Drow? Uh, a few at this <laughs> point. Drow, yes, is one. Cool. Of them. You hear several Drow swear words. Jackass. And it kind of ends with, how in the fucking hell 
is the the gist of the last part of her spiel that she venoms over the video. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's it's nothing to do with me. It's all enough of that. Please come rescue me. Be dashing. Rescue you from what? Where are you? Don't and then dry. she describes. If you speak about dry, you're you're probably catching maybe all the actual word words my... and not all the swear words. Um, yeah. So you're probably you're getting all the actual words, and uh, not the very colourful bar language. Uh, and yeah, so she describes um, like a sub level of the station. Um, this like near one of the the lower like lo the kind of docking bays. We have like, a map thing I can look at. So I mean, in fact, no, I'd know where I am because I'm in the centre sort of plaza. Yeah, like so. For example, so I'll I'll, I'll move you to that map that I had two seconds ago. Right, so let me just orient myself on this. So, oops, didn't mean to ping. Sorry. Right, there's no user in the central plaza, in central, the big dome. Central plaza. Ah, yes. But let me see. Do I have a wee token for Chakos? I'll find one. Uh, let's see. Did that work? I don't think that worked. We might get two of these. Dump. Yeah, that's a bit big. So I might actually just make that bigger for the sake of... yeah. Okay. So she describes like a lower docking bay. Why is she a bard? Uh, she's... she has a dry representation, okay? <laughs> How dare you? I mean, no one questions the ship we use, you know? I never question the ship. That would be rude. It flies for us. Um, <laughs> ship, can you explain yourself? <laughs> Where have you taken us? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that was like session 10, right? Mm. So, hi. Good. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to get this ship on, up and running. Um, I guess we have the time. <laughs> Shit. Um, so yeah, you're looking at like the radio. You're looking then at <laughs> dead Alice, and then Zig, panic. Like what? In fact, what does he see when he looks at Zig? That's a better question. Zig's kind of just still. You know, you know when your your body just shuts down because you've. Just shock, really, yeah. Really, you know you've done something real bad, and you don't know how to handle the situation. That's what Zig looks like right now. Yeah. He's done something real bad. And at this point, I think this is when the others walk into the cockpit. Right? So, you just walk in, probably Nick still holding space tape in his hand. Uh, so you see Alice lying off on the floor. When I, when I, when I said take control, I meant like work with Alice, like right, figure out the ropes, you know, not, not, what, what happened? I, what happened there? <laughs> <laughs> what the captain said, but more efficient. It was. I, I didn't. I didn't mean. I, I'm. I don't like. I. I can't. Calm down. Like he's gonna start crying a little bit. Wusa. Uh, I. I. I'm oh, yeah, probably like, totally at a loss. I'd be totally like at a loss at a crying person. I'm just about to do this. Yeah, and it's just a suit of armor <laughs> you're looking at now. <laughs> I think next five picks up. Uh, we have an additional situation. Uh, I, give me uh, some kind of strength or athletics roll. We'll mm -hmm. see if you can. <laughs> Please start working sheets. <laughs> athletics. <laughs> Ah, that's <laughs> No. <laughs> no. No. Like, 
you kind of, you know, you left her up a bit, but no. Uh, Captain, some help here, please. I would, yeah, I would give him a hand. Uh, where do you, where, where, where do you go? Take her to one of the spare rooms. Give her the patented nod. And also left the bot. Bloop. Mm. Let's make my scroll down again. <laughs> ah, yeah. So yeah, carry her to one of the spare rooms. So this... No, stick her in Zig's room so he can live with the guilt forever. <laughs> uh... Yes, yeah, so I'm assuming one of these is probably an Alice so... room by now. Yeah, uh, well, that was like <laughs> the wet room for a bit. Uh, this is an empty room, uh, this is an empty room, and this was Emlyn's room, or is Emlyn's room, however you want to phrase put it. Up, put it in that room, I suppose, one of the boxes on the Yeah. So, do you see anything while these are in there, or? Uh, let me go find it. What exactly to how to sick. Please, Captain. Oh, I'll good. check that she's okay. Good, good, thank you. Good, good, good cop, but... Just say so, what exactly to have? Well, um... See... So... And I, I think, I think you... <laughs> Actually, I don't even know what he would say. Um, <laughs> the thing is, blank, this, is, this is Callum here. I feel <laughs> really guilty right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, Alice was all, all magic y and stuff, and so I asked her, and she like just wasn't getting it and so I thought I'd show her what I meant and then when I showed her what I meant she just fizzed. Do you mean the thing when you do the touching and then people know what you're talking about sort of thing? Mm. Yeah right. Um. Ha. Have you ever done it to next before? Let me tell you. I do not know. Uh, uh, I think we had. I think I have, yes. You're on my list. Yep. <laughs> mm hmm. Uh. I think Zig's oh. gonna, like, he's gonna start fidgeting with his, like, hands and, like, rocking back and forth on his, like, feet. Can you come and, like, the. Yeah. Don't mind that, so never mind that. Just <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> never mind that. We well, can go if you want. <laughs> it's up to you. Uh, I, I would just like nod, and then I guess I would go back again. I, I, get, to... I guess Zig would follow. Uh, he's kind of yeah. uh, like, I oh, know he feels like he doesn't know what to do with himself anyway, so he's just going to, I guess, follow orders. Yeah. Uh, yeah, head to the, head to the room. Ah, oh, fuck! Can we fucking kill Dallas? So upset. So we done this thing where it touches you and you know the thing. Yes. You attempted to mind link with her. I would look like I'd what's the mind link? <laughs> <laughs> Was this? Was there some form of aggression behind it? I can't mm -hmm. see it. It's never done this before. Mm -mm. And did she seem okay before that? She's all magic y. She seemed fine. Uh, but she's fine. <laughs> you just coming in or? No, I followed him through. <laughs> He was... Sorry, just look like you're still in the... Oh, sorry, I forgot to move myself. No, it's just because I was wondering if you were going to... I'm a doorway boy, then. I thought you were going to be uh, still on the comm to Shackos, that was all. I, I, uh... 
would have by this point ceased to be communicating and would have followed through. Okay. Um, yep. Yeah, just to say, like, you know, he he gibbered at her, I didn't see what happened, heard her fall, and then he was like that. <laughs> This is most unusual. Um, I will need to assess whether she's okay. Hopefully, there's no lasting damage. Um, Thanks. Avoiding eye contact with everybody. This is an inopportune moment, I realize, but I'm going to need some assistance. Um. Oh. No, don't do that. I received a calm from a colleague requesting aid. Just while uh saying it's a big good trainer. Uh, I'm just while we're preparing and uh seeing to Alice, I mean I would like to have you with us next, but obviously you're preoccupied. Captain, if yourself and Zig, he says slightly uncertainly, uh, <laughs> would be willing, we could probably retrieve her quite quickly. Are you sell? So, for Lyco's <laughs> knowledge, right, where she is, is maybe an hour away if the station is working, right? So you've maybe got down through all the network of like passageways to get to the docks that she's in. It's like almost like a kind of cargo dump dock. And uh, you could assume she was looking to maybe like jump on like an abandoned like anything to get off, right? That could have been what she was down there for. Because it's less um regulated down there, shall we say. Uh, but on a completely non-problematic journey, four or five minutes if you ran, you know? You're a healthy boy. Ish. <laughs> yeah. So I'd say like, if you pelted it like, and, and there was nothing in your way, you could probably make it in 45 minutes. <laughs> there. So... Say, give or take a two hour round trip. Yeah. Ish. What a fucking fly 30 feet. <laughs> Same. Yeah, I, 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 I would say, like, yeah, we're, we're looking at a couple of hours, but I'm anticipating uh, we might encounter some resistance along the way, potentially. Who knows? The station is an uproar. The dead are. Well. Mm. It's who knows how long before the fighting gets here as well. And I don't just mean things like Urgalas or Sindael or any other nonsense like that. Or even just debris from the outside kerfuffle. The riots. But like yeah, like the the people inside, right? <coughs> Not only the living but the dead as well. They mm. might just turn on the ship because it's a ship, right? In the plaza. Hmm. It's a good old riot. Um, I don't know. I mean, me as a person wants to help. I know it's like it's like it's, it's, yeah, if it would cap, <laughs> would uh, would Zora. cap be like, are we gone? Yeah, some random colleague of uh, Lycos, right? Uh, it's in a station that's war bound. <laughs> It's war torn, I believe, is the term. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, realistically, what's the chances we turn in time? Do we even have evils to spare? Honestly, I have no idea what the time frame is. <laughs> I mean. Would now be a good time for you to go outside and try to see the vehicle. I mean, it's, it's a good idea. It's a good idea. I was thinking it, but I don't. 
have the ability to myself to like steal a vehicle. Zig's a good pilot. Hmm. Zig, the engineer, though, to, Zig's, Zig's the only like, pilot. There you are. No, if you take one, there's somebody really? sitting in. <laughs> the keys in it. Seems more. <laughs> yeah, like lizard man, I could probably just the GTA. I suppose you're right. <laughs> yeah. Excuse <laughs> me, officer. Nice. I am commandeering your vehicle. <laughs> this is meant to work the other way. No, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Vesk. <laughs> <laughs> this is a matter of national security, not your nation, but yeah, it's national. <laughs> Um, seriously guys, this is this out of character. Obviously, Lyco does want to help, but mm -hmm. he's not just going to run mindlessly in on his own, because the fuck's he going to do? <laughs> um, the gist of it as well, so I don't know if I actually finished that conversation or not, but the gist of it is, she's kind of trapped down there, and she needs help getting out. <sighs> she's very stereotypical. She she's under debris because she was obviously OP. So, do you matter what? Like, I mean, uh, we could go for a bit of adventure, you know. <laughs> 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 like, like, we'll, we'll just Zack Snyder our way through every corridor. The four of you standing in a line, you know. I'm pretty good at busted indoors. Just hold Alice by the ankles and swing her at people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Alice, yeah. Come He's probably gonna bust. Oh, but Alice is fucked. Shit. <laughs> yeah. yep. I mean, Alice could have went and done that our, herself, right? She could have yeah. fucking bolted down there, blasted it. Damn it, sick. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. How about um, you guys go get started on it? I'll get Alice back online. Let's give it a bashy. Let's 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 let's, let's, let's suppose. Okay. Okay. So, <laughs> so t t t talk to me. What's the plan? Right. So, if we really feel like we can get it on time, we'll go. But if it's looking too sketchy, we we'll, we turn back. Agreed. And if I get surrounded, I'm punching the drive. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I would kind of I'd just be thinking. I really wish I thought he was kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and maybe we just see that look in Zora's like face, and like maybe you just like you don't have that really toothy smile that you normally have. Maybe you just have like a kind of really resolute face as you stare at like Nix, as if in your like we can read it as an audience, being like, you know, he means he will. Like, <laughs> yeah. All right, Captain. Let's go. Let's go be the good guys. <laughs> I'm just not good at that. Just... Uh... I, uh... As, as I say that, I sort of just left up my sniper rifle. <laughs> <laughs> right. On the way out, actually. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That bomb that I made... Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's... kind of... desk liftable, the, isn't The it? bomb you and Alice made, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. In which case, I'd probably uh, just say to the captain as he's on his way out, uh, I've got a backup plan in case you end up in unfortunate circumstances. Oh. And then, yeah, go take him through to the cargo, hold him, hand it to him. And, uh, oh. <laughs> press this button to start the timer. I would. I'll set it to 60 seconds and then run. I would nod. I wouldn't say a word, but I would just exit the room and nod. <laughs> like, like... Isn't this approval. the the thing you made with Alice where you just rolled mysticism? And... I feel like you both did engineering and mysticism to make this. There's definitely engineering involved. Part of mysticism's in there. Yeah. yeah. Mm, this is a big grenade. Yes. It's more, so it's more like a shoebox that <laughs> is made of, like, bits of crate. This is a big grenade. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's <laughs> less of a grenade and more of an explosive breeze block. <laughs> I'm, I'm for it. I'll so it's kind of 
instructions place this way up press this button don't be here run yeah if you can still read this you will explode <laughs> for this take this like I said, I'm just exit and nodding in approval <laughs> I like explosives. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it serves you well. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, so <laughs> are, are three of you going on Operation Split the Party? Uh, yes. Uh, and, <laughs> and Nix is staying behind? Rebooting. Cool. Okay. We've been fools. <laughs> <Ever. laughs> Adventure, right? Okay. Like. Alex, well played. Now's your time to reveal your master plan. <laughs> we jumped on the next station. It'd be a shame to just jump right back after it. I mean. Yeah. So, <laughs> so about that, right? How are you planning on getting out? I mean, we're kind of hoping that next solves all engineer <laughs> problems and all Alice problems. Because, <laughs> <laughs> um, like, let's let's remind ourselves. I'm trusting the smart guy to do everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let's just uh, if we look back at the where we, the where we're just are. doing what he's told. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> mutiny, take over, uh, replace the threat, and uh, also the pilot. Uh. <laughs> It's fine. It's totally fine. Everything's fine. How are you? Uh, so, Nix will you, fix you, it. You, yeah, you are kind of in this. Nix will fix it. Like, like there we go. There's, there is the step two problem. You uh, are an inside. People's now. My initial thought was we drifted in. <laughs> If we can pick up a bit of speed, we should be able to drift out. We'll take some of it with us. Yeah, but. it might be a really, really fucking close call. You might just have to spin round the circumference of the dome a couple of times. <laughs> <laughs> and then hope at some point when you start to like hit the drift button, it opens a portal at the right moment. Uh, it'll be interesting. We'll get to that point, right? I trust Zig's piloting. You might not have Zig to do it. I trust my piloting. <laughs> I trust Emmeline's navigation system that we ripped out of the buggy <laughs> that is duct taped into a previously fused drift drive engine that I patched together in like 45 minutes. Aye, perfect. It'll be fine. Right, okay, so you three, can you just give me athletics checks? And we'll see how I quickly use head away, away. Yay! Yeah. Dun, like dun, it's dun, not dun, my strong dun, point. Definitely not my strong point. Bub, bub, bub. Da, da, da. Well, got twenty-five. Da, 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 Right, what did we I get? feel like we'd start like leaving and then, you know, I'm just falling behind too much. He just like, picked me up by the scruff of my neck and just... <laughs> Why do we have two identical so rules, Zora? Like, one for each leg? One. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you walk. God, this one 25 and this one is 25. <laughs> Gagal. <laughs> Gagal. <laughs> Oh, in the Viscarium you run twice. Like, it just sounds so cowardly. Um, yeah, no, I think, I think it is that, like, obviously Zora has no issue keeping pace. Daiko obviously is leading the charge and <laughs> I guess Zora is becoming the this door is locked problem solver. Um, mm. You know, so Daiko is like, shouting to Zora through that door on the left and then Zora just speeds up and removes the door on the left um, as Lyco is using his you know, com badge to uh, navigate towards the dock that she's in uh, and Zig, you, you are definitely falling behind um, Zig, roll perception 
Okay. Na na na. Na 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 na. Perceive. Perceive. Um, Perceval. Perceptual. Kuft. Yeah. Hasty. Bam. You um. You can't help but notice Perceive all us. the dead around you as you're running. Maybe this is why, like, you're slowing down. Um. Mm hmm. And it's just. You have never seen like this many dead people before, and it's a mix of people and not so people. Yeah. Like dead, dead, or like they're dead and we undead need to run away from the dead and dead. dead that are all dead, and bits undead. of other things. But they're they're like like dead, dead. Yeah, nothing's moving. Oh. And there's like, um, you know, I things think that, that would slow things pace down even more. To be. Honest. Yeah. Well, that's it. Like, obviously, you weren't keeping up with them in, in the first place and then maybe you start to notice things around you when like you notice they're getting further ahead of you you start to look around and then yeah. this is where you spot that maybe it's that kind of oh god I'm not keeping up with them what if things get to me you look around you see the things that are around and it's horrific right mm -hmm. um, like things have been like mutilated it, it has not been pretty um, with your role as well can you give me a f like physical sciences rule randomly sure or no ideally but not, not just randomly later physical <laughs> that was the sound of random yeah that was the randomized generator yep and then <laughs> from what you can see the there seems to have been like damage done in like a line like you can see the vectors of uh Infection. The attack, as it were, that have hit specific undead in the the area that you're in, heading towards like the docking elevators. Um, so it seems like things from outside, because if you look up through certain parts, you can see like a hole that goes through several decks, and then you lose vision mm -hmm. because of lighting. Um, but yeah, it looks like things have like shot straight through like the hull of the station. To get to like specific mm. targets. Oh jeez. Yeah. And oh, then it looks like some of them. Like, it looks like some of the uh, undead have been using live people to take the hits for them. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think Zig's very not 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 happy at all. No. So do you to keep running or are you stopped like to take this in? I think he's probably stopping to be honest. Um not that that's what Callum wants to do at all. Of course. Yeah, but it makes but sense if Zig tries it, to like take yeah. it in. Mm -hmm. Um and you know, I feel like he's he's getting a bit sort of overwhelmed. Considering yeah. he's just started like the past like you know, a few minutes ago just killed somebody, potentially. Yeah, um, now you're kind of like, you can't escape it, right? Because maybe that's why you went on this yeah. mission with them, to like get away from that problem, right? Run, out, right, run yes. away from the ship, right? So you run out there, and then you look around and you realise, nah, actually I'm kind of surrounded by this. Can I have realised these? Well, that's the thing. Can you can you and Lyco roll if you think you would notice Dig, who was behind you anyway? Um, I'm pretty observant. Yep. Just want to roll? roll. I don't mean a roll. Hmm. For to notice um, Zig. Yeah. That was a two <laughs> rolls. God damn it. So, so Zara, now you're already too, like you've already like busted your way into the elevators. Damn. Uh, so, Lyco, I think just as you get there, I think you just stop in time and look back, and you see like Zig, about like maybe so many oh, meters away, Six, maybe like maybe like forty meters away or some shit. Enough that he's like caught staring at like the massacre of this place. Mm hmm. I'll look for a second, see if he starts moving again. I think I he's. Don't think so. Yeah, because I think at this point, this is when he's like slowly trying to take in. It's dead, it's undead, it's bits of potential things. And then he starts to look up at like the ceiling and the walls and stuff where like there's like holes all through it. Um, so you just kind of see him. Just almost like. 
paralyzed in his ugly world. You leave him to it. You grab his attention. I, uh, I think at this point Zora's ripping out the I safety components of the elevator. I'm absolutely bellowing, but I'm, I'm, you know, raising my voice enough to be heard. Yeah, like just like a decent shout will get over to him. It's only like forty meters away, but it's all the noise of the like the, the alarms and stuff. So I, but a decent I'm shout. Like... Whether or not that snaps Kid. the go over here. So calm doing that would snap the go over. I think if I think it would, he'd probably hear you know sort of kind of like underwater. Yeah, the kind of muted version of it. Yeah, um, it would probably take like a wee bit of time um, before Zig would actually notice. Because um, if he takes too long to notice, I'm start. I'm literally just going to shoot a shot into the air. <laughs> so, <laughs> what are doing? He's going to get your attention. Don't worry. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, I get it's definitely going to take like time to. Okay. It probably would yeah. take something like a big shocking like. If he is, if he is taking blast. too long, you literally just like look up just in case there's anything above him. I'm assuming there's not. Um, no, because you're about to get into like an elevator, like a yeah. big cargo elevator to go down to the lower depths. Then I just like. I suppose to the higher. Bang! <laughs> Sniper rifle shot goes off. Yeah, and your sniper rifle is like a slug thrower, right? Yeah, and it's um... Oh god, what is it again? Let me just check. <laughs> it's a trank <laughs> I've got one of those, it's not that. It's a Sherry and I rifle, so it's, yeah. Yeah, so it probably yeah. does make noise. Yeah, I think... Oh yeah, yeah, it's not, it's not subtle. I mean, it's ranged, it's not subtle. Um, I think uh, hearing any sort of... Yeah, so there's the... Um, Patang, and then the the almost like metallic echo. Yeah, I think he would automatically assume that. Oh my god, whatever's come and killed everyone mm -hmm. is right. Come back. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um, and then that one straight marble. Kind of like, <laughs> wait, wait for you know, almost like realize that he's not been murdered horribly, and um, kind of look around and see what where it came from. And I assume no to cycle and I <laughs> raise my eyebrows at him while reloading. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Could you... I have marked off one ammo. Good and man. I'm going to the game manager and mark off a further ammo. Yep. I think he he would try and kind of collect himself and head over towards. Oh shit! Towards yeah, I've Lycan. got more ammo in that now. Yep, so yeah, like a, you all head into the elevator and then you pull the the drop us to the lower depths button. Yeah? Do you say well, anything when... Does, I'll let the cap do it. And then a... Uh, probably do just as uh, the Australia. Do you say anything to Zig? Has Zig in yours? Anyone? What was the hold up? Um, I, don't, I don't even know if Zig could say anything. I, uh, I'll just like probably I'm standing quite close to him so I'm just like s subtly I, 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 it's like scratching behind the ear or something <laughs> I, I think he'd probably f like definitely flinch like really, like normally he would like not oh. he'd be very complacent about it he'd like really he's like super on edge so uh... also called what is that thing you have typed in chat like for <laughs> for for Tony, I, know, Tony, like, honestly, I, start, I, I yeah, got like, most of the way through for to notice, and it had been mangled so badly at that point that I just hit the keyboard. Terrible. <laughs> why why even bother at anyways. that point? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, yeah, and uh, uh, like we would say something like, "Yeah, it's it's pretty bad out there." Just a sort of mm. like an affirmation. Well, an affirmation is maybe the wrong word. Yeah. But like an I th acknowledgement I th I of. Yeah, I, th I think I think Zig would just kind of nod. Um, and I think he'd kind of. I don't know, just be a little bit pensive. I feel like a, a lot of the scenes would kind of remind him of graduation day. Hmm. Um. Yeah. It probably kind of it's probably like death thing, and that's. Maybe that's what we're getting. We're getting like 
as you like have that moment on the uh, on the elevator, maybe it starts doing that thing where like the light levels like can you go zoom and it does that kind of like almost band of light that goes up and down, like a uh, kind of ribboning the uh, the interior. So the lights going up and down, and as we do that, we've got like Zig kind of staring kind of at the ground or at the walls or whatever, and it's just mm -hmm. you flash to seeing the corridor scene. And it, it kind of flashes and looks like the graduation like floor with all the bodies. Mm. And it flashes again back to like where you are. And um, I think if, as we have that, we then cut back to a uh, to Nix Five. Where are you? Yes. What are you doing? I'm trying to switch Alice back on. Uh, it's uh, from what I recall, of the suit is user friendly from the outside. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> Whenever I said that, um, no, it's really not. It's been <laughs> completely different to uh, the last time you operated on it. Remember, your, I think the last time you properly operated on it was, um, I guess, back technically on Baskerville. Really, is when you it on. like yeah, when you had the most uh, access to it. But mm -hmm. it's not got its interface that it was plugged into there. And keep in mind, it was then put. It was then opened up. And put onto the uh, like Alice's brain column, as it were. Um, so oh, lucky. since then, I have got my wireless hack on. Indeed, and this thing has been incredibly refined by Alice over a year. So, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how that goes. Uh, yes. Maybe as you set up all your tools, though, um, mm -hmm. you may or not hear the uh, intruder alarm. Someone has opened the ship again. Alarm. I'll pick up the cannon. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. and, and before we walk, close yep. the doors. So you head to the the start of the cargo bay, I guess, like the the inner side of it, mm. and uh, you see a somewhat familiar face at the other side of it, walking up the ramp, and she says, "Any chance of a lift?" And you see, S Kate. Isabel, walking up the ramp, carrying a big fuck off rifle. Can I confirm for a moment? Yes. <laughs> Do you mean with the party? <laughs> no, this is in character. Right, okay. Um, you are S. Kate. And uh, I think like her kind of weird, kind of friendly smile kind of drops. Like, eh? Well. You have a habit of pretending to be other people and I want to make sure other people don't pretend to be you. Just excuse my suspicions. And she kind of like... <laughs> she does that thing where she laughs and she like sits the gun down to like lean on it like a walking stick. And then she kind of leans against the wall and she's like, so you're using my profile to profile how I'm not me. She just it's laughs again like just into like as if this is a ridiculous day and this is what I... I have at the end of it. I was just about to voice exactly the same feed. Okay. <laughs> it's been a long day. And this isn't how I where I expected to be. And like as I you see, like like yeah, like as you're kinda of like saying that to the shit there, like picks up her gun, like slings it on her back and says, Let's not wish it to be too short just yet. And then uh, she kinda of like nods as if are we cool? I suppose we can uh Yes, we were we were going to be looking for you anyway, but this saves that. We are delayed for a couple of hours. Oh, good. And <laughs> the rest of the crew has gone to retrieve a colleague. And she kind of just um, looks a bit like quiet at that, as if she doesn't really know what to say to that, because she has no idea the value of this colleague, right? So. Mm. Yeah, she just like heads in, hits the button on the ramp, so the ramp closes over, and she's like, "How about we speed up whatever we're doing? You know, could you maybe?" And she like does the hand gesture for a calm. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I kind of point to, I guess, point to one of the panels on the wall that would be the ship's comms that would link up with all the personal stuff, and then a. Uh, not giving her my personal. No, like she, I think at this point, like she's like 
or where they kind of like march past you and then kind of like taps you on the shoulder and she's like good let them know and then she walks inside um you have a gun would you mind standing guard yeah around here and she just like turns on her heels and goes sure how about I do that and I will get everything else operation and she just kind of looks around at, like the, she looks around and looks at the trash pile that is like the the three like <laughs> escape pods and you know yeah looks into the engine room and sees that it's um, duct taped up <laughs> and she's like business as usual then <laughs> she I'm just, sorry I, I don't suppose you were looking for anyone else coming in to save you in the central plaza you wouldn't believe the day I've had. And I think uh, it cuts there. That's probably a good <laughs> place to to end, yeah. So yeah, guys, <laughs> that's uh, a really fucking interesting session 26. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh. <laughs> I love what everyone goes... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I should say. Ah, <laughs> yeah. Huh? So, <laughs> bah. Meanwhile, bah. let's go review goals. Review goals. Right. So, uh. uncover the fate of oh. Emma and Dally. No, the <laughs> the the goal that we never put there, uh, which was the SK goal isn't resolved because it just says SK. Um, that's not a goal, that's a name! It's not even a name, it's technically her rank. <laughs> um, <laughs> her rank, uh, same thing. Uh, the Senate is also present, um, which the is good. Senate. Uh, <laughs> let's, <laughs> the Senate. Let's say that uh, we know I Lyco, or, or they did that. Uh, we've retrieved Lyco. Yeah. Right. right, so yep, do you wanna adjust that Nico on the old goal tracker? Uh, uh, so just copy it underneath the completed goals and then just we'll leave it up there until we're replacing it. I think I think I have an idea what to replace mine with. Okay, okay, we'll get to you in a wee second. Um now here's the thing, Zig. In a ver <laughs> in a very literal way. Also leave it orange if you can. Yeah, I'm cool, cool. Um, in a very literal way, you connected with a party member. Yes. But <laughs> technically, she's an NPC. I may. Have, but yeah, uh, I, I feel I like may, I may have taken a backward step with reconnecting with party. <laughs> as well. Yeah. So I feel like. I feel that, like everyone's going to be slightly pissed. I <laughs> think making amends for basically killing Alice today is. Um, so do you want to like probably. You can remember you can move a goal to the side. You can reword a goal, um, but yeah, that's that definitely needs modifying or updating or something, right? So you work that too. Next five, how do we feel about goals? Um, I feel like this one's probably not relevant for the current everything. Okay, but it's probably um, like as I throw it to the side, put it in the pile of yep. pending, and uh, if you want to like think up another goal, uh, we can work yeah. on that for next time as well. Um, anything come to mind? Um, what seems more relevant to you now? <laughs> aside from not getting the ship torn apart. Um, that might not finding the that absolute be... Limits. How much duct tape have you got? Yeah, I found out the limits of duct tape. How <laughs> much is... duct tape have you got? Well, I think nice, then. We have now officially become pioneers in drift travel. Ah, I need to be short. Sorry, I won't do that anymore. <laughs> So, I would say, yeah, you're you're definitely getting into really fucking experimental levels of drift experimentation, yeah? Um, um, but also, I think it's... Uh, I think figuring out what the hell is up with Alice. <laughs> just think, though. Well, just think, if we get away, that's what... That will never yeah. know. You can't... Yeah. Oh, well... Just think is all we've got, oh, really. <laughs> just think, we'll have, like, the, the, the skills... To do like the Adama maneuver because I don't know how to do it, man. It's cool, man. Like, just think it's a learning experience. This <laughs> is all good. <laughs> Flashes back to Cindy. I think going, they don't even realize I moved to their ship. The fools. Cuts back. <laughs> Puts his paper down. You still have a glory. You still have a glory, alright. I mean, you still have the glory. I got plenty of glory. I got bags of it. 
bags. <laughs> Glory screams. Thirty-four bags. <laughs> Bag of knives. Um. Yeah. Right. So. I mean, I've kind of got two in mind. I've split between those two. <laughs> Safe escape is an interesting choice. Yep. Cool. I like it. Um. Yeah. We'll leave that, and then we can review that, and we can see if you're gonna pick one to focus on for the next time. Uh, Zig, anything in mind? Um, make amends for killing the pilot. <laughs> you are the pilot. That's amends. Hmm. The other pilot. <laughs> I love how she's not even Alice. It's just the pilot. <laughs> Look at you trying to like de-guilt the thing. <laughs> <laughs> You're really up in this goal level, aren't you, Nix? Because it's just slowly getting like, hmm. The, it goal, <laughs> always believe in your show. Mm. Retrieve shackles, that's a good one. Yeah, I like it. Yep. I, I'm, I'm pretty good. <laughs> I am that's pretty good. That is all. I'm gonna get, pretty rid good. Of, get rid of that C, though. I'm like a six. There we go. I fixed it. Not bad. <laughs> by no means great, but not bad. Uh, what about you, Zora? Anything in mind? Smash those doors. <laughs> no. Immediately. <laughs> that light button. <laughs> and ring the bell. Immediately it would just be just to, like, get the crew off this station, but that's pretty... Like, I was going to say, what exactly is Zora going to do except drag the spaceship with everybody in it yeah. out? Yeah, yeah all of them, like, like, Literally, I, you're like the least involved in the escape plan. Yeah. I don't mean that in a bad yeah. way, I just mean you're, I can't you're not an engineer and you're not a pilot. Yeah, exactly. You're yeah, a bit I'm of an engineer. And a... Do you have piloting trained? I'm pilot trained. I was yeah. going to say, like, so you're, you're kind of a bit of everything as well. Just not as much as a bit of everything is Lyco. <laughs> I mean, I don't have the skills. I'm, I'm literally trained, but not put in. But that's fine, because Lyco won't stuff. be able to make wormholes eventually. No. Yeah, I mean... And that's definitely something that Zora can do later. Four levels. Four <laughs> more levels. <laughs> well, given the time you might get through this, this skull list, you might end up with four more levels. Um, four more years. Four more yeah. years. <laughs> So I mean I don't know. So like basically just like keep the current party safe or something. I don't know. I like. <sighs> what if it's just get the party to Akaton, like safely? Like uh, you could have something uh, like that. Yeah, yeah. Or keep the party uh, safe yeah. on Akaton. Yeah. Because again, that's more like make sure everybody successfully escapes. Which again, we just explained you don't have a part in. So I feel like it is something like protect them. On Akaton. I, get, I guess get the party safely off of Absalom because right. it's a bit vague because we might not even end up on Akaton. Might not have. You never true. know. <laughs> that is true. That's very true. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> so oh, we found the best goal. <laughs> and his own way, which is not much right now other than probably keep like going Zig safe in this moment. So, again though, the, how are you getting them safely off Absalom? Just by, well, at this moment... It Is it keep like the party safe until we get off Absalom? Yeah... Do you see what I mean? Yeah. Like, that wording works. Yeah. Cool. Because again, you can't get them off Absalom... Yeah, yeah, ...directly, that's what I mean. unless you literally put them in spacesuits and throw them out the airlock. The right, yeah. put them in spacesuit. Goes into my... <laughs> So, uh, okay, yeah, cool. That's fine, there we go. So, everybody's got goals. Um, we've achieved another one. If we can somehow get um, Nix5 and Zig to uh, yeah. achieve a goal, we can start the levelling up process, which is nice. Um, doing okay so far. Lyco's really banking them up. Um, I did say banking, <laughs> don't worry. Uh, as for names for the session, then. What we're thinking? I mean, 
I kept writing Mixel stuff down because I, I really liked um, <laughs> Mad Zig Fragment Road was funny. Um, we had a <laughs> Let's Go Goodbye. A no Rest for the Wicked I liked. A you don't go in trees. We also had a actually there was there was a quote I really liked the sound of actually which is um let's see if I can find it again. It was on the last page. Where is it? Um there we go. Little Alice Phil. It's from Alice in Wonderland. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Um or a little Alice Phil down is the actual full quote, but the way it's written it's uh, like all the letters are like that. Um, there was another Alice in Wonderland quote that I really liked as well. If I can find that, give me two seconds. How about it? How about it, indeed. How about it? Right, and bear with me. <laughs> oh dear. Does that Star Spangled Banner yet wave? <laughs> 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 So. For the land <laughs> of the free and the no, no, home no, no, no. of the Please shush. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's uh, one of my favourite exchanges in that entire book. Alice says, how long is forever? No, it obviously says, sometimes just this one second. We're, we're, we're here for a good time, not a long time. What? Maybe we could go for, you won't believe the day I've had. I like that as well, yeah. Yeah. Yep. The last line. <laughs> <laughs> or I've had the contraction. Yes. I'm. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to contract it. We've contracted everything. That is not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the case. Not what we're doing. Um. Right. Okay. So let me update. Session manager, session. Unless Alex, if you're there already, do you want to do it? Because it seems like you were there already. <laughs> yes. Always one step ahead. One jump Which ahead of the bed line. Like you, you want it to be like pretty much bang on, right? Actually, that wouldn't have been a bad title. One swing ahead of the sword. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, guys don't appreciate I'm broke. And one jump um, ahead of the bread line would have been good for last time. <laughs> Oh my god, it's horrible. Well, we'll see what comes it's up. appropriately contracted. <laughs> I feel like we're summoning Cthulhu uh, David. It's, <laughs> it's possibly. It looks Eoxian. It may be angry, but I'm not sure. Is that a no to that one then? Uh, I'm just gonna go edit that. They all have capitals at the start. Cause <laughs> it's a Mel Brooks joke. It's. It's obviously a Mel Brooks joke. I can barely speak them. Um, probably for the best. Uh, right, okay, so... Uh, Nico, start us off. Um, <laughs> um, good, 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 good what? Good what next? Yeah, Thank your you. success for you've got a really big backpack and we're all jumping in it quite a lot and it's good. It's, it's quite good. <laughs> yeah, MVP of the last two sessions, really, right? Thank God you have <laughs> engineering, computing, piloting. Uh, <laughs> like thank thank God you've got the geez. skills <laughs> 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 for making a spaceship go good. <laughs> right, thank you, Nix. Just thank you. <laughs> I love the class. <laughs> One jump ahead of the drift explosion. <laughs> <laughs> it is a good class to be, right? Let's face it. See if you're in any kind of sci-fi setting of any kind and you don't have like somebody that's like a mechanic type build or even slightly mechanically inclined, you know you're going to hit problems because everything's tech, right? Mm. Until it's not. Well, yeah, that's yeah. usual. I also like that um, uh, uh, Zig's commitment to, well, Calm's commitment to Zig's character. Like, mm. Very good commitment. Good, good, 
good commitments. It's good. Um, hmm. Yeah, that was good. Um, what about yourself, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love. I really did love Zig's guilt. Yeah. <laughs> Is there any moment that Zig is suffering? Just <laughs> <laughs> so from when Callum joined the what? game till about <laughs> now, right? No, it just he brings so much emotional depth to it that it really is. You do feel for Zig entirely. Like it's mm-hmm. it's such a a sweet moment because yeah, you can tell he means well, but yeah, but it's almost like somebody. With something kind of beyond them, right? Because Zig's still coming mm. into his abilities. Um, yeah, absolutely. And I think that's he, quite good because he does you get feel yourself. like a child a lot of the time. Like, yeah, Calum has done very it's well. It's like, to well, this solves my problems. Child. I don't have to explain myself. People don't need to sit and give me time. I just force information onto them. Mind link. Oh, she's broken. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's. It's, it's great. Yeah. It's a really like in terms of bringing the kind of the inexperienced but powerful characters to the table. Calum's done great in that. Well done. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because um, I mean, Zig is pretty OP. Like, I know what Zig's yeah. capable of. And yeah, like, the powers that Zig has. And then you think about the pilot of the mech that is Zig, and you think, oh god, help us. Um, yep. Mm. Um, and yeah, I think it's also nice seeing kind of Lyco torn between. Um, I guess There's his own journey, change. right? Yeah. Kind of caring for the things from his past and people. And I guess he feels the most grounded in this place that we are abandoning to its death yeah and I um, think it's like I mean he had a life and an unlife here for a bit yeah. do you know what I mean um, this is probably where Lyco lived actually uh, in his unlife I think we established as well yeah. Um, yeah, obviously technically he has one friend at least here um, yeah. who's I still think, I mean he has several just not pretty close I don't think he has many close friends mm-hmm. yeah but it's kind of nice because I feel yeah, he's, he's probably the most grounded in that respect which is kind of fun to participate alongside. And we still have uh, the benefits of this uh, alter ego with uh, was it Ben Galenis? Yes. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we'll. Uh, Galensis. Sorry, how's that? Galensis. Yeah, Ben Galensis. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know when, whether he's planning to tell, well, whether we will tell anyone you. Um, yeah, passengers. passengers yeah. That, that we trash the escape pods. Uh, yeah. Right. <laughs> but, it seemed like the right choice at the time, mathematically. I think um, SK might have worked out that those two are trashed by the look of the trashed <clears throat> skate pods. So I don't think you need to worry about explaining that part to her. Yep. Just yeah. In terms of a safe escape. That just means who can get there first from. and who's the higher level, right? That's all it See, really I means. Was, I was picturing while she's guarding the entry ramp that Nick's five is going and writing the names of uh, Nick's Lyco and Zora on the escape pods that are still left. <laughs> just labelled appropriately. Okay, that's interesting. Yep, yeah, just oh, well, <laughs> these, these, these are names. I don't know if we actually ever established how much that, like how many people actually fit. Is it one person per escape pod? I think it's one person. Yeah, per I think, escape like pod. I think I remember reading that. Yeah, it's we'll yeah. look that up anyway. Um, to do, I'll just make that note right now. <laughs> to do, question mark, escape. Which is why I decided to trash Pod just the capacity. Yeah, just the three. Mm-hmm. Um, and then obviously the expo buggy. Which I will fix. Expo buggy to <laughs> be fixed. Handy it was there though, right? At the same time. It was useful, yeah. Um, as I said at the time, kind of out of character if it was so disrespectful. Well, I have this like the Terminator vision thing where you walk in to the cargo bay, you then pull the tarpaulin off and you stand there for like the split second where it comes up nostalgia, you delete the file and then you just start <laughs> taking it apart um, yep. for the equipment. But you keep it in your recycle bin, the file, you know, so you can restore it at any point. Makes sense. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it was it was definitely definitely good for Zig's again emotional range of oh god, what have I done? Um, <laughs> when have I done it and what is going to happen because of it uh, Lyco aka Colin you know Colin <laughs> <laughs> yes um, 
So yeah, obviously one of the standouts was the. Uh... <laughs> Sorry, I just saw a thing. It was weird. Uh, was the moment where he did the mind link and it uh, did not have the desired effect and caused uh, Alice to go. Boop. The and desired effect the would be a fucking great session title. I mean, you had your chat. No, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the, what saying about that because obviously mechanically the question the question has been floating there the whole time, and I'm not sure how deliberate it was in Callum's part, but like, we don't really know. Like, we discussed this. Does she technically have a mind? Like, she is a machine, right? But at what point does a thinking machine? cease to be just, you know, data and become a mind. Like, it is a very... Yes. When you're talking about something that obviously has um... Sentence? So much, something so much akin to a human mind. Mm. Like, just from the evidence of our actions. Do we mean, like, sentience versus semblance, then? I, I don't know. The, like, I, I, the, the, or the word sentience, I understand, have several meanings, like... Some would use it to describe just about anything, but others would say, like, oh, no, only if you're fully self-aware, like, you can have reflective thought, you're sentient. So I, I wouldn't... Well, even there we go. Self-awareness versus like semblance, then, is a better way of putting it in. Okay. To move I don't, the I don't really have a vocabulary to discuss in, in term, like, those terms, like, what, what, I, what I'm thinking, but it is a case of, like, do, is she, like, uh, simply a, a something of equivalent capacity to us or is she actually you know is it like a parallel evolution you know convergent mm -hmm. evolution sorry it, it, and she is actually she has a mind but she's just come about it in a different way than organic organic beings have mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or is she just something that is you know equivalent to a mind but is in some way that we can not actually quantify but is meaningful you know, some in some way significantly different. So that's an interesting question, and it's one that we either stumbled blindly into, or Callum played an absolute blinder and set us up for. Uh, <laughs> feel free to take whichever uh, version of events you want, Cal. Uh, Not that. <laughs> it was, it was really cool. It was funny. It was funny getting to react to this sort of sudden weird thing as well, like in the midst of all this. Oh. What I do about Shakos and oh yeah, because I can kind of imagine like you have that thing where you're kind of just you're sat there like sl almost like slouched in by the chair, where like the radio just like sitting on your chest and your hand or something like waiting for a response, right? And then you've phased them out because they're just children bickering about piloting, and then she gets up to leave and goes to walk away. He hits the ground, and as soon as like he hits the ground, he stands up and mind links her. She falls over. You hear the clank, you look over, and it's like, what? You've got the... <laughs> Zig going, okay, uh, ship's comms, everybody, and at that point you just hear Shackles be like, Quint, you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, right, it was one of those scenes going, oh, I don't have the capacity to react to both of these things right now. Shackles? Hello? <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was a good scene. Um, yeah. Never mind the... It was definitely an internal pressure scene, as opposed to an external pressure scene, where you already know the kind of the weight of things that was going on in the station, where the station's got finite time left in it. Mm. Um, more so from a will Lyco survive the amount of time on the station versus the rest of the party, um, given that there's a specific thing against undead. Roaming the halls. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, it's good. It's, diffi it's difficult because, like, I uh, I try to as much as possible sort of keep to the like he is in it for himself. Like he he wants. To, he's not completely selfish, obviously, but he's he's in it because he wants to uh, get by. Right. He 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 doesn't. He isn't a selfless hero. He's not someone who's gonna put themselves out in the, you know, lane for for nobody. Well, like but the fact that you're a bounty hunter is a perfect example because yeah, you're clearing up scum, mercenary. but you're getting money. Yeah, there's an exchange. Exactly. Overall, it's a good thing, but there's an exchange. That is, it's, 
It's a pretty nice uh, summary, really, that one. Um, and uh, yeah, so it is it, it's, it's interesting. Um, what else? What else? Uh, oh yeah, and uh, Nix is a uh, always quite flat delivery, but I would say slightly slower, slightly more forced calm <laughs> in his reaction. Like I, I feel like the the Nix we got today was a Nix who was a little bit more like. What the fuck have you done? But I'm not going to say <laughs> what the fuck have you done. I'm going to be me. I'm going to express this in a sort of matter of fact and uh, I'm very calm, very sort of precise way. Uh, he, he tends to be, as I say, quite direct, quite flat. But there was something in. There was again. An... Who knows how much it was? But like, well, there was an edge to the voice, right? Yes, I, I would say definitely that that Alex. You definitely played him as if he was managing to keep that approach, but th that was an effort. Was that around Alice? Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was definitely. I was thinking, given the way that androids are treated, yeah, there was a bit of me going, "What did you do?" But trying to, yeah. I mean, nice the kid. I guess it depends if Nix would jump to the point where he thought that Zig literally took Zora seriously, which was a take command <laughs> as well. I guess yeah. it depends on Zig and Nix's interactions now, right? Because you were like buds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And now there's this no. moment of what did you do to someone yeah, who was getting super close to... For everyone in the crew. And we'll see how it goes down, sort of as it goes forward. But like, I think that was quite interesting because we will get to see how different people were. Like, I, I, my incident was like, oh god, what the fuck's happening? But then he was quite kind of okay about it because mm -hmm. Lyco kind of understands that Seg is, you know, what, what euphemistically one might describe as a little touched. You know, he's he's, mm. he's a bit off, <laughs> and uh, and he's that's, also. That's <laughs> You know he, he he's he's a, he's a bit of a kid as well, right? So 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 so, Lyco kind of, you know, it's not like he isn't aware that he he's dealing with someone who's very intelligent, and very competent in some ways, and also very very powerful. Um, but he's also very conscious of the f he, he's grading on a curve, right? Hmm. Basically, he's like, oh god, I wish he wouldn't have done this. This is bad, but. You gotta get on with it, and anyway, it's fucking Zeg, right? It's Zeg. Mm -hmm. It's it, that's gonna happen sometimes. Shit like this will happen. It's Zeg. We're moving on. <laughs> so I think that'll be fun to see, like Cap, like for instance, see how he takes this going forward. Like when things are all sort of calmed down, it, it is Cap gonna be right? We need to get this crew in order no mind reading people that you might accidentally turn off or whatever. <laughs> right, build batteries <laughs> into the shields for the ooze uh, build mm -hmm. build a drive that won't just explode that's made of more than just toothpaste and hope like <laughs> you know I like maybe yeah, maybe upgrade the ship like yeah <laughs> it's not the worst place to upgrade a ship just try not to Leave it sitting too long in case your wheels get stolen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> by a Soki, funnily enough. Wow. It's and a good place. So it, uh, I actually, I hope you make it to Akaton. Put it that way, because uh, it'd be a fun place for the story to go. But I hope we make it. Yeah, I, I, hope, I hope we make it. It should just be the fucking chapter title. Um, it might, in fact, be. The, the, the man of the moment himself... Callum. Fuck you. <laughs> it wasn't me. It was you. <laughs> it was all you. I know. That's what makes it worse. <laughs> Haven't you realised it by um, now that I try and make it your fault in the game? <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> it's really funny. You you got excited. You were like, oh, I'm going to mind link with her. <laughs> No, I had a really I like I had I was thinking to myself, you know, when uh, Nix and Zora were 
footing under the engine. Mm. I was like, oh, this is it. This is where something's going to go wrong. You know, we're going to create our own major issue and it's going to be really funny and it's all going to be Nixon. <laughs> what the Nixons are a hijinx as they try and save everyone. <laughs> and, then, and then I go, oh, I'll we'll just do. I'll just do this. This like, this works every time. What can possibly go wrong? Yeah. Oh, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> I'm really upset. I think what's better is that in their monologue as well, because obviously everybody has their own version of how the RP goes, right? <clears throat> Despite having the same session, everybody has their own in their monologue that they follow along through the game, and. I love hearing yours for that. That is so good. See, knowing that you're like, ah, oh, they're probably going to do this. Because that is like an RP, right? You look at the situation and go, oh man, this is... If I, if I put like a formula pattern over it, this is the part where something will go wrong because the dice will break it. But no, luckily, Alex can roll really well for fixing stuff. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. And as I was saying, like some rolls aren't about do you manage it or not. Some rolls are how repairable is it afterwards? Like how... How recoverable is it? Because you know, stripping an engine out of a an, ex- an expo buggy isn't the difficult. It's putting it back together, depending on how quick you ripped it out. You know, like did you cut through pipes or did you just like did you detach them? You know, and I think this was mostly cutting through things. Um, luckily enough, it with the roll just failing by like I think it was one or something. It failed by yeah. yeah, like because of that, it's you know clean cuts. So with the right you know garage. You could fix it, um, but yeah, I think for <laughs> Ziggs and her monologue of, oh this or Callum's I should say of this is where the problem will be. Okay, Alice, boop, oops, yeah, fantastic. Cause that's the thing. Um, obviously, I've got loads of stuff in play for Alice as a thing, uh, as with what seems like every single fucking part of this game. Um, so much on my my notebook of uh, things still to possibly happen, and. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's it's really nice when you guys f- you fall into the parts that are there to play, if that makes sense. Um, not that I'm going to specifically push you into them, because at no point did I expect you to be on the station panicked, having just jumped the ship into the middle of it, uh, <laughs> and then have Zig just sit in Alice's lap for like half an hour, fiddling with switches before he decides to mind link with her. Because that's awesome. Right down to the part where he's the one that chose to use his vision to see her in the first place. So, yeah. It's awesome when they get these opportunities to then convey stuff. Um, unlike when I just kidnap Lyco. You know, and just provide him information. Because that's the nature of certain characters. Al- Alice, sorry, I should say, isn't specifically forthcoming with information. Unless it's with Nyx in a really awkward corridor intimate scene that's uncomfortable for everyone and then <laughs> you've got the openly uncomfortable scenes with Lyco and Sindale you know but that was good well, anything else there Zig? Um besides your own personal trauma I actually oh, personal trauma oh, I hated it so much <laughs> I actually did it was awful Um thanks I feel good about my game <laughs> okay <laughs> I I I liked, you know, I liked the whole start. I liked everything up until that point. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I I really liked the, the the whole us like you know just chatting away with Zora and um, Nick's just being Nick's. <laughs> I also I also really liked the the, the way he was very. Seemingly in control over the whole. Oh, this is Alice's an issue now. Um, yeah, my brain's just stopped working. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, no, I, I I really enjoyed how um, how uh, yeah, Nix was was just all like, you know, it, I, I on the outside very. Oh, I need to. I'll see if I can get her back online. Nils go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, start like as soon as they got time alone, it was a case of let's fix Alice, not let's fix yes. the ship or prep the ship in any way. It was just the ship's good enough to go. I think. Yeah. That'll do. Let's focus on Alice. And I like that because it was almost a, a kind of return to Nick's five's like actual goal. 
right? Which is the pursuit of yourself and your own journey and your evolution, right? Mm-hmm. And then um, seeing, obviously, almost like a kind of mirror in Alice, right? Yeah. You could say through the looking glass. I won't, but you could. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, like you see in Alice, obviously, a bit of a mirror who's going through her own journey. In a mirror, darkly. I was going to say that and I decided not to because it makes it seem really sinister. And um, I did. You did, I know. I, I, I could count on you, it's fine. And uh, yeah, so like in her you have this reflection and of course you want to preserve that, right? Um, but can you unsmash a mirror? Uh, we can duct tape it. <laughs> 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 Just... <laughs> duct tape over the entire suit of armor. <laughs> Get like orange marker pen. Color it in. <laughs> oh, we're going Wilson on this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do you know? Had that been the last shot of the session as well, I would have ended with it just being like Alice being lifted out of the room, but the camera still sitting on the cockpit floor where she'd fell over, mm-hmm. and then the camera slowly pan like slowly lifts up but pans down, and you just see the spark. On the cockpit floor. No. Oh no, this has made it worse. <laughs> because that will still be in the cockpit floor. Razor's spark. Oh no. <laughs> that that, 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 like, that copy pasta ruined sparks forever. For everyone. Um, right, before we go They're off tangent too far then, uh, anyone want to add anything else? <laughs> no. No. Uh, no, Colin. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, so thank you everybody for playing. It was a pleasure as always. Thank uh, you, Ryan. <laughs> thank you. You make it sound so Mr. problematic. Ryan. Like, uh, gentlemen. And um, thank you everybody who listened. Um, I hope you've enjoyed Alice. Uh, we'll have her funeral next session. Uh, and we'll uh, make sure you wear something uh, orange or purple for her. Uh, goodbye, everybody at home. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.